are we together it's a very serious prayer we're going to pray now you're going to pray that if by any means there is any spirit entity in my life or around me it's time for you to come out it's time for you to go listen as you pray this prayer many strange things will start happening to you don't worry about it you just focus on this prayer and pray with all your heart and watch what happens say in the name of Jesus say it in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind in my body around my life hear the word of the Lord I cast you out of my life now lift your voice and pray pray fire is falling pray fire is falling I cast every spirit I cast every devil I cast every spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost my mind my body around my life around Koinonia in the name of Jesus around my family if you are married also pray for your family pray for your children I cast every devil healing fibroid now the Lord is ministering to me a mighty deliverance is going to happen now it's starting with ladies any spirit entity that comes in the form of a man and attempts to oppress you in the night right now in the name of Jesus Christ let the fire from heaven fall right now and command I command that spirit to go help them right now any spirit entity using the face of anyone to molest you and close doors inside outside I command deliverance now I command deliverance now 
let the daughters of Jacob possess their possession in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I'm hearing in my spirit uncontrolled anger it's a spirit it's living people right now uncontrolled anger is it's an unusual anger rage it comes you can tear anything and you can do anything I'm seeing fire in the name of Jesus anyone who is a victim of this operation right now in the name of Jesus I bring you deliverance I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost uncontrolled anger I come against it now Please help her. I'm seeing a vision. And the Lord is asking me to pray on that case. In this vision, I'm seeing someone dream that's what i'm seeing now and in that dream you keep seeing yourself going back either to your old house or to a primary school or writing an exam you are finished it's a strong spirit of delay i stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace help your wife right now in the name of jesus at the count of three the spirit of delay hear the word of the lord let god's people go now one two three i command that spirit go now go now please help them go now this one thing i do forgetting the things that are behind no devil should take you back again i command that spirit go now I cast that spirit now. If there is anyone you know, whether you are here or anyone you know, that for some reason has not been able to take in in the name of barrenness whether you are here or you are standing for them i want you to agree i want to pray let's see the devil that will stop them from taking in in the name of jesus anyone you know and you are standing for that the devil i don't care what the medical report is that the devil has come to make sure that they will not celebrate children in the name that is above all names we release children from heaven in the name of jesus we release children from heaven we open every barren womb in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the lord is showing me a group of people you see you have dreams frequently and in the dreams you see yourself receiving things and it's something that in the physical you are hoping to receive but the moment you see it in that dream it will never happen again it's an irony it's like the opposite of what you see in dreams is what happens the lord is asking me to deliver those people now please help her help her just stand near your wife so that she doesn't have to fall right now in the name of jesus in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare from the realm of the spirit, let there be deliverance for you now. Let there be deliverance for you now. If you have seen this pattern I'm about to describe in your family, then I want you to listen carefully. It's always that the future is worse than the past. 
you never have a situation where you leave certain things and go higher and higher you look at all your loved ones they once worked they once married they once had children they once had a house you are in a situation where the future is never brighter than the past it's always once upon a time this was happening i need to crush that devil from your life please help them once upon a time i was rich once upon a time i was married once upon a time i was on fire for god once upon a time i was a pastor i had a church no the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth ever brighter unto the perfect day when your tomorrow becomes worse than your yesterday there is a spirit reversing the equation lift your hands i want to pray for you in the name that is above all names i declare that any force from hell that is responsible for aborting a glorious tomorrow to take the events of the past and still bring it into your tomorrow right now at the count of three i declare that spirit must let you go one two three let them go now let them go now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ my spirit is heavy circles of repeated sicknesses i want to pray now it's not a normal thing whether it is hepatitis whether it is a blood related disease or whether it is every month malaria every month malaria every month typhoid you treat it it still comes back every month headache every month whatever it is hold on please the lord is showing me something i just saw like a pile of money and then i saw it disappear and the lord said there are people money physically disappears like lives their life i'm not saying you waste it you can keep ten thousand and come back and find seven thousand and nobody was in that house it's not just money items you can wash clothes and hang it you you didn't steal it you will come back you will not find it listen well this is a, a deliverance series just allow me to help that lady I'm seeing a lady in a vision now. You were alone. You washed your underwear in the night. By the next day, you didn't find two of them again. It's gone. From that day, something happened in your life in a strange way. Severe menstrual pain is one of the things you started having. Uncontrollable pain. In the name of Jesus, everything the devil has taken from anyone, I decree and declare by the anointing of the Spirit, let there be restoration now. Let there be restoration now. Let there be restoration now. The Lord is showing me someone. Every time you see someone die in the dream, a few weeks later it will happen physically. Now you have seen your loved ones. You saw them last week. You saw like a, somebody was announcing to you that so I don't know if it's your mother or something that died. If we don't pray for you, it's going to happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? I prophesy right now upon your life by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I command that death to pass over your family I command that death to pass over your family Hallelujah Just, just let me just talk about two issues I'm struggling to share what God is showing me now. This has to do with a group of ladies. Listen.
there is a lady here every time you see yourself in a dream you are a man not a woman that's why i'm struggling to share what i'm saying physically you are a lady but every time you see yourself in a dream it's like you are carrying the form of a man this thing has affected you even in the area of relationship if a guy looks at you and says i love you it's like it's like um it's it's like you feel as if you are gay it's, it's like something has numbed the capacity to receive love as a lady because of that encounter it's a demonic thing that i have to pray for you for a very demonic thing i'm seeing like smoke this is strange and then it is it's just like moving around in the air wherever those groups of people are i don't believe it's just one person it's an operation of darkness in the name of jesus i stretch my hands right now and i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost be free from that demonic siege now be free from that demonic siege now ah, hold on there is a lady a physical person appeared to you not a dream i'm not talking of your dreaming physically physical like you are seeing me like this appeared to you and was having a conversation with you appeared to you and was having a conversation with you and from that conversation your life was never the same again it looked like it was a woman that was appearing and talking to you like revealing to you some secrets that had to do with the past and from that day you started hearing voices even in the afternoon you can sit down and hear like people are discussing i need to pray for you if i don't pray for you very soon they will admit you in the hospital because they'll say you are talking and behaving like somebody who has a psychosomatic condition wherever that person is in the name of jesus i may not call you out because of time but i declare right now by the anointing of the holy spirit that devil that spirit in the name of jesus be free from it now if you know in this place that you find out that certain sicknesses never leave you they keep repeating cycles just place your hand on your chest i'm about to pray it doesn't matter what part of your body and what sickness you just place your hand on your chest i'm going to pray someone will shout under the anointing when that happens the anointing for this healing is not a sickness it's a pattern that god is breaking now the moment that shout happens i will rebuke that the power of god is looking for one person there's somebody that will shout that's the shout right now in the name of jesus by the anointing of the holy spirit every pattern of reoccurring infirmity reoccurring sickness whether it's a blood related disease every pattern i say it again of reoccurring sickness reoccurring disease right now by the power of the holy ghost i command the spirit responsible lose your hold now 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 hallelujah in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit I, my god i'm seeing a sword right now i declare every hold of darkness even in this series help them jesus look at what is happening there in the name of jesus you know my voice i was once your victim but tonight has come as one who has been given the keys of david by the mercies of god i declare right now in the name of jesus everyone here under the sound of my voice 
who is under any kind of siege right now be free in the name of Jesus 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 every family under any kind of siege that is mocking your Christian integrity and making God's word look like a lie in the name of Jesus fire, I'm seeing fire that's what I'm seeing from heaven in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I cause the plague of witchcraft. I cause the plague of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Every voice speaking against everyone's destiny. The Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. The Bible says he nailed it to the cross. I declare and I decree by the substitutionary sacrifice of the eternal begotten of the Father. I cause every power that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I reverse any ordinance in the spirit over every individual over every family I command a reversal now in the name of Jesus and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession let me pray for you everything that must enter your hand the open doors that the blood of Christ release. Help them please. Everything you have seen in the realm of the spirit. God has shown you dreams. That you are a possessor. God has shown you dreams. Your children. Your breakthrough. Your lifting. Your speed. Your job. Your marriage. In the name of Jesus. I release it to your hands now. Become a possessor. I release it to your hands now. Become a possessor. And I pray for you. The Bible says when you catch a thief, he won't just restore what he stole because he has wasted your time by stealing. Can I speak restoration? Let me tell you, there are many of us who have lost things some you have lost time Masha Makata Lekotos Kabata Joshua said son go back move go back I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus I prophesy as one sent in the name that is above all names everything the devil took away from you I command a restoration now I command a restoration now Whatever you have lost in time, I speak to you. Between today and Friday coming, I pray that someone will have the faith to believe this prayer. May my God, the God of Jeshurun, arise and surprise you. Arise and surprise you. We call him Ebenezer, the helper of Israel. I declare, oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Obtained promises. Obtained promises. Obtained promises. What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou received it and thou shalt have it. Listen. In the next two minutes, 
I like you to receive things in the spirit. The things that the Bible said. Please don't take casual this opportunity. We are operating under an anointing. I like you to declare. Receive by faith. In the name of Jesus. Receive mantles. Receive anointings. Receive open doors. Receive favors. Receive ble blessings. Receive graces. In the name of Jesus. Receive ease. That you may receive that your joy may be fulfilled hallelujah i'd like you to take this remaining two minutes seriously you are going to make decrees you are not talking to god you are talking to your destiny you are talking to your life are you ready to pray open your mouth and make decrees Lift up your heads, O oh, ye gates. Shake it Matos Lift up your heads. I command close doors be open in the name of Jesus. I hold the keys of David and I command the doors open that no man will shut. I decree and declare my path is as a shining light it shines brighter it shines brighter unto the perfect day I decree and declare I shall not die I live I choose life I choose life I reject death not by accident not by the soul God is a with favor like a shield. God is a with favor like a shield. In the name of Jesus, I go from glory to glory. I go from power to power. I go from grace to grace. From anointing to anointing. From wisdom to wisdom. Koinonia is like a shining light that grows brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. The Lord gives the word from this place and great be the company of them that publish it. Bless your children. Bless your wife. Bless your husband. Bless your home. Bless your finances. Bless your spiritual life. We declare over Zaria, we declare over Kaduna, we declare over Nigeria in the name of Jesus, rising from glory to glory. Everything I do prospers in the name of Jesus. No failure in my life. So no failure with me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we release the spirit of faith. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus, the workings of miracles, 
supernatural testimonies by the power of the Holy Ghost from nation to nation from state to state from territory to territory we decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev in the name of Jesus turn situations around we declare by the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah in the name of Jesus agree with me in the name of Jesus Amen. and the apostle says Lord behold their threatenings and we pray that you stretch forth your hands and you grant that miracle signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son Amen. he said behold their threatenings respond to their threatenings by stretching forth your hands and that miracles and signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son father we decree and declare these are issues that have threatened the liberty of the saints they have robbed you of glory and lord we bring them under judgment in the name of jesus lord i stand in agreement with every grace within this house and we decree and prophesy that these egyptians you see today in the name of jesus you see them no more forever these egyptians you see today in the name of jesus you see them no more forever my bible says when the lord turned again the captivity of zion he said we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and they said among the hidden the lord had done great things for us he says the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south we decree and declare that everything that represents captivity here let it be turned like the streams of the south The Bible says, have you heard of this proverb before that a nation be born in one day? But then it says, as soon as Zion travails, it says she shall put forth her son. I declare speed to every request here. <laughs> Prophet Joel speaking by the spirit said, and I will restore the years. Let me tell you this real dominion is dominion over time. No matter what you dominate, if you do not dominate time, you are not walking in dominion. And I will restore the years. Many of us, we've wasted time, we've wasted opportunities. In the name of Jesus, let there be restoration. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, I pray for you. Listen, every time we, we wrap up these meetings with impartations, it is not a ceremony not many people are really sick not many people are really oppressed but the challenge with many believers is that we may sustain the knowledge but we do not sustain the grace that provides for the possibilities that we desire the bible says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you the key to sufficiency is sustaining the requisite level of grace there is a grace that controls speed there is a grace that controls favor you can be hard working but it does not mean you have favor the bible says it is vain to wake up in the morning it takes agility to wake up in the morning and then to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow but the bible says he gives his beloved rest he can bring his beloved into sabbaths hallelujah yes there is a grace that compels the helpers of your destiny to find you just because they were ordained to help you does not mean they will find you no the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon hallelujah 
we desire all kinds of favors we desire all kinds of liftings and let me tell you sincerely these things are not in heaven they've left long from the foundations of the earth the bible lets us know that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places routed through the christ it will take understanding of his systems to make these things become real in our lives and the possibilities in the life of a believer please hear this we're wrapping up is governed by three things number one is governed by your understanding of the ways of god the methodologies of god as it makes for that issue of concern every need in the kingdom has a requisite level of spiritual understanding colossians 1 verse 9 that we be filled with the knowledge of his will that we be filled with all wisdom and with spiritual understanding so everything we desire there is a requisite level of spiritual understanding that sponsors that possibility number two having obtained the understanding you will need the grace the empowerment that causes you to walk in the experience of that which you now know hallelujah and so paul is saying god is able it is within his ability the bible says do not withhold good from him that is due when it is within your power it is within the power of god to lift it is within the power of god to restore listen to me it is within the power of god to bless to open doors but there are graces that control it thou anointest my head with oil my cup he does not anoint your cup you know what is on your head by looking at your cup if your head is anointed your cup will prove it thou anointest my head with oil my ministry overflows you anoint my head with oil my finances overflow you anoint my head with oil favor overflows so the real problem for many people is a correct understanding of impartation impartation is not anointing with oil impartation is not even falling down impartation is a spiritual system by which the possibilities of the spirit are transferred is the transference of spiritual possibilities and the thing the operation of god's grace in the life of a man the anointing the engracing if it is there it is there if it's not there it's not there it's as simple as that if it is there it will speak immediately hallelujah so it is possible that you walk out of this meeting tonight with a dimension of grace you did not come with and you will know by the results that begin to change remember our teaching that christ be revealed that christ be glorified but there is a coordination of graces the weightiness of a man in the spirit is a summation of the graces that are at work in your life when you become a a compendium of several graces then your possibilities become defined by these graces favor speed lifting access to the hearts of men there is a grace that makes a generation loyal to you it takes more than leadership it is a grace there is a grace that compels everything that is in your hand to multiply it's true that a woman can be frying akara and yet build from that business it's not a car that built it there is a grace on it that is the grace that can make five loaf and two fish to feed five thousand people and still have 12 baskets full listen please hear me anything you do and i'm not stupid believe me i know what i'm saying anything you do without being empowered first is a total waste of time do business from the strength of the flesh and you will watch yourself have a plethora of frustrations it will come one after the other in successions that will frustrate you but let that investment of the spirit rest upon your life and you will watch things that should not work work the anointing of the spirit does not work generically anointings are in levels and dimensions and they limit themselves to the jurisdiction of their operation the grace for favor will not heal the sick please listen to me are we together now the grace for wisdom will not necessarily bring speed as it were 
So the Bible says God is able to make all grace, all, abound towards you. I like to know what graces are not at work in my life so that I pursue them with hunger, desperation and honor. So when we are gathered like this, haven't received prayer for healing, haven't received the word. I think in my opinion that one of the most important things that you receive is a new anointing, a new dimension. Either a higher level of the same grace or a new dimension of a grace that you did not have. You can have the grace that makes for productivity but not have the grace for favor. Everything you have, you work for. That's not profitable. You will not be able to give God glory. The proof of favor is not money. The proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men. Hallelujah. Are you ready to receive? I have watched with shock how people have neglected graces that their destinies their ministries their businesses require and i've also watched with shock at the childlike reception that ordinary people have just come to embrace graces that turn them into signs and wonders i've shared with you again and again my testimonies that i am a product of many anointings many anointings I like to find the graces that are not at work in my life and I know them by tracing the things that look like limitations in my life I'm like a spiritual archaeologist I thank God for that which is at work but I search for that which is not at work because every grace is available it takes discernment and honor to receive hallelujah and I'm standing tonight in agreement with all the graces of the men and the women of God in this place and if you can believe you will be surprised you see I have prayed for many years and I will tell you this you know that I love you you are my people I'm committed to your growth please listen to me <clears throat> there is a grace I have prayed and cried to God over that it will rest upon this house in a lavish way and is the grace for favor i have seen people reproduce various graces the anointing the healing the wisdom of god but i don't know why this favor dimension <clears throat> when the favor of god comes upon your life you will stand and marvel you will wonder at how men become like robots to see to it that your destiny manifests it is the grace for favor that will call the kings of Tyre and Sidon to come and entreat your favor they will come to you with their bounties they will entreat you to receive from their benevolence it takes the grace of God everyone who lifts you has relatives in need whatever will make him leave them and come to you must be the hand of God favor accelerates destiny believe me it does it can take 10 years and put it in one year in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters that is what it means to be Beulah and Hephzibah. You become a delight. A delight. In the name of Jesus. The favor that is required in this season for the glory of the saints. I prophesy upon you. Let it rest on your life now. Access to the hearts of kings access to the resources of nobles receive that grace in the name of Jesus Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 this is the litmus test for favor if favor is at work in your life this is the proof if favor is not at work in your life this is the proof and I will give these people favor 
in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty emptiness has an explanation when no man arises to see you important enough for them to invest their time their credibility their reputation their resources to honor the dealings of god in your life hear me the diagnosis is that you do not sustain favor it's not yet at work in your life one more time i pray in the name of jesus the favor that will move you and shift you to strange dimensions of grace may it rest upon you now in the name of jesus i declare the wisdom that comes from above the wisdom the hidden wisdom of god that was ordained for the glory of the saints may that dimension of wisdom be made manifest in your life from tonight <laughs> hallelujah the bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness it says therefore even god thy god hath anointed you with an oil called the oil of gladness and it says that oil sets you above your fellows the grace that distinguishes you in the name of jesus may that grace rest upon you yes. hallelujah the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon not god the king a king can send for you and bring you out of your situation listen listen to me the king sent for joseph not god there are men who can help men all blessings come from god through men to men i declare the man that is ordained of god to hold your hands your ministry your business in this season and to see to it that you rise in the name of jesus enjoy their ministry <laughs> hallelujah praise the lord i pray for every dead vision every dead dream that which has been locked up in your spirit man but has refused to find expression i give it life right now in the name of jesus can i pray for your family it says as for me and my house when you serve the lord alone you are not free it must be you and your house i pray for your family members may the angel of his presence go to every family and see to it that it becomes a reflection of the glory of god <laughs> hallelujah acts chapter 12 the bible says on account of the gospel peter was caught after james was beheaded and he was chained and there were guards that protected him but the church prayed earnestly the bible says and then it says that the angel of the lord came into the prison cell and the chains fell off on their own and he led peter out through three gates the first gate opened him up and then the second gate opened him up and then the bible says he came to a gate called the iron gate and when that gate opened the next thing he saw was the city there are gates that must open for you to step into your place of influence watch this it was not the first gate it was not the second gate the iron gate opened and your business found visibility the iron gate open it says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder the gates that must be open for your influence your business your ministry to find expression i speak to it a father be open be open be open be open In the name of jesus hear me i prophesy to you whoever fights you goes down instantly listen the bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying that means this is the basis 
touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm i say it again whoever fights you goes down instantly everyone here under the sound of my voice due for promotion i stand by the god of heaven and i shift you to the next level and everyone trusting god for a job in the parable that jesus gave they said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us immediately they got a job i declare to you by the spirit between now and the next three months like the ark of god in the house of obed edom receive miracle testimonies <laughs> hallelujah let me speak to everything dead in your life he came and met the girl 12 years old dead and he said no she only sleepeth and the people laughed and he drove them out and then he held her by the hands and said talita kumi little girl i say unto you arise i speak to everything that seems dead in the name of jesus by the spirit that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus come back to life now hallelujah the bible says remember not the former things nor consider the things of old it says for behold i do a new thing i pray for you everything that does not represent the workings of god in your life in the name of jesus i declare that it fades with your yesterday And I open you up to a new season of supernatural manifestation. I prophesy to everyone who is trusting God for direction for the next level of his life, be it marriage, be it whatever. You are at a crossroad and you need the voice of God. May you hear the voice of the Lord in the name of jesus i prophesy clarity in the name of jesus i prophesy everyone who is already moving the wrong direction either as a result of wrong advices or wrong perceptions about the path of both spiritual and physical progress in the name of jesus may the lord redirect your steps now may the lord redirect your steps now may the lord redirect your steps now anyone about to leave the geography of your anointing as a result of wrong counsel or the quest for greener pastures the bible says there is a way that seemed right you must be at the geography of your grace to drive and isaac sowed not everywhere in that land in the name that is above all names may you hear the voice of his majesty as you sleep tonight may you hear the voice of his majesty I pray for every board here who is experiencing stagnation you are marking time and instead of you to make progress you are not moving by extension to every family in the name that is above all names the Lord told Moses why are you crying to me tell the people to move forward I prophesy over your destiny move forward now Move forward now. Move forward now. Make progress now. Make progress now. I prophesy over those trusting God to settle down maritally. Manta kakaboko to paladaba. Mambre to skusete Every power of darkness. 
tying down your marital destiny in the name of Jesus that embargo is lifted now by the blood of Jesus that embargo is lifted now sisters I open your marital doors now in the name of Jesus no more shall this proverb be used in your life may the Lord change your story hallelujah because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and that oil sets you above your fellows in the name of Jesus the anointing that distinguishes you man to kaparata lekata so pray take it to leke boshia from today everywhere you go be distinguished now help them please so that they don't be, be distinguished now shake a pokoto be distinguished now no more will you be common no more will you be like the rest the hand of god is upon you no more will you be common i prophesy from the depths of my heart let an anointing that distinguishes you rest upon you now all those trusting god for jobs let me there's nothing as joblessness the bible says he saw them idle and he said why standest ye idle and they say no man employ us he told them go to the vine when god speaks there must be job in the name of the lord jesus wherever your job is i don't care what the limiting factors are there is a superior advantage because you are in christ therefore i invoke man tato sotobala by the ministry of destiny help us wherever you need to be called wherever your cv is i provoke a miracle job now 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 hallelujah i pray for everyone called barren in this place anyone called barren in this place i declare to you according to the word of the lord that according to the time of life may you return with your miracle child may you return with your miracle child i speak it i establish it in the spirit zechariah chapter 1 verse 18 it says son of man what seest thou and he said four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against israel against jerusalem and against judah so that no man will lift up his head he said but i have sent carpenters in the name that is above all names the lord told me he will bring breakthrough i want to prophesy it now now whatever has limited you whatever has limited your family right now in the name that is above all names i come with the rod of a higher priesthood and i command every limitation be broken now limitations be broken now limitations i sense the anointing of the holy ghost limitations be broken now be broken now be broken now let the power of god break every limitation now hallelujah He told Saul, he said, as you return, you will see three men holding bread, but two of them will give it to you. 
Does that mean they didn't want the bread for themselves? In the name that is above all names. The favor of God that can end the struggles in a man's life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. Please believe it. It's not by power. There is a realm of ease that comes by the favor of God. Therefore, in the name that is above all names, I prophesy, receive favor. Favor. Let the Esther anointing come upon you now. Favor with men. Favor with God. Favor with kings. Favor with destiny help us. In the name of Jesus. Every wine presser and baker that needs to speak to the king on your behalf in the name that is above all names we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now hallelujah whatever you have been trying to do and you don't you don't seem to make progress you keep going around circles of the same thing in the name that is above all names everything you have tried and failed go and do it again this time with the anointing in the name of jesus everything you have tried to do and you failed i provoke an anointing upon your life and with this anointing go back and do it again it's a master we have toiled all night but he said nevertheless at thy word i bring the word of the lord to your life now what did not work before let it begin to work now hallelujah i pray for every family going through pain and suffering and limitation and bondage every family represented here he said as for me and my house not as for me alone as for me and my house hallelujah in the name of jesus may the fire of god may the fire of the holy ghost bring advancement in every family represented here i command every family make progress move forward make progress move forward move forward hallelujah i speak over everyone here and every family anyone marked for death anyone marked for death or earth i speak hear the word of the lord we forbid the earth from taking the body of anyone here you remain immortal until your assignment is complete you do not live by the sword therefore you will not die by the sword in the name of jesus you are separated from the wickedness and the harassment of terrorism you are separated from the pestilence and the plagues that cause men to be afraid in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ and for many who are students here mando kasikete pakadata rakatoposku prendikitabalar in the name of jesus every yoke of academic bondage in the name that is above all names i command be free from it now 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 therefore i release upon you the spirit of excellence receive the spirit of excellence on common speed academic exploits in the name of jesus hallelujah for every ministry every business 
everything that is dead and grounded in the name that is above all names like the dry bones in the valley of Ezekiel I command life to it now I command life now I command life now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I command life now hallelujah everyone in ministry in this place I pray for you let the doors of opportunity be open up to you you were not designed to market yourself the Bible said let her walk speak for her at the gates I command everything stopping your walk from speaking for you let there be an anointing that announces you in the name of Jesus Christ every struggle in any area of ministry we call it to end now in the name of Jesus and anyone who is in ministry and you are confused you really don't know where you stand you don't know the spiritual paradigm you should be representing in the name that is above all names let there be clarity absolute clarity in the name of Jesus now lift up your hands I want to pray for your finances in the name that is above all names first and foremost I cause the spirit of greed that stops you from engaging the principles that will bring true wealth and abundance I command the giving grace to come upon you in the name of Jesus I cause the spirit of greed let it be far from your life in the name of Jesus grace for you to be a faithful tither grace for you to be a faithful giver grace for you to be a kingdom investor may God give you wisdom may God give you favor may God bless the works of your hands therefore I release a supernatural anointing for you to prosper receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus God gives you wisdom God gives you ideas in the name of Jesus hallelujah everyone here who is trusting God and is saying Lord restore everyone here who had a better yesterday that is saying Lord if there was a way I can turn the hands of time I prophesy to you there is a God that can turn the hands of time and cause men to experience restoration therefore in the name that is above all names we bring back into your life every opportunity that was once lost in the name of Jesus opportunity for favor receive it opportunity for healthy connections every opportunity in your life that has been wasted by the favor and the mercy of God we call back that opportunity to return in the name of Jesus Christ we call it to return in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah whatever has made you cry in the name that is above all names whatever has brought tears out of your eyes because you were in a state where nothing and no one could help you in the name that is above all names may my God arise for you and that everyone who has laughed at you and said where is their God in the name that is above all names that God will arise for you my God will arise for you my God will arise for you Father in the name of Jesus Christ we pray right now there are thousands of people miracles will be happening as I'm praying some of you is happening to your members at home father 
miracles will break out right now at the count of three i just felt the anointing on me one two prayer requests are being answered supernaturally job 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 a job is coming i see it marriage is coming i see it admission admission jam jam request why someone wants to get married before december i see it financial breakthrough cancer for your mother cancer for your mother salvation of your family members mighty salvation some of them are in the beer parlor the angel of the lord is going after them father you have made this place an altar of praise where you turn every weeping into mourning this is no pretense oh god i speak right now let I every prayer like request so here. coming on my head and for ah, those yeah, streaming yeah, online yeah, yeah, yeah. i change it to be testimonies please now everybody stand. in the name of jesus please everybody stand i speak to you i speak to you prayer request believe in the lord and that and which is be established will hear the voice of believe in his prophets become testimonies and, you shall and be delivered for god's people in the name of jesus please lift your hands everybody hallelujah give god thanks it is done hallelujah please as i speak i want you to believe it i want you to receive it while i pray the lord told me if it does not happen it's because you did not speak it things will change right now as i speak the angels of the lord will begin to move to the areas that i'm speaking all i need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to hallelujah every terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the holy ghost right now it leaves your life and your family forever receive it infirmities are going infirmities are going 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 cancer go cancer go hiv die hiv die ss change to aa ss change to aa as change to AA every blood disease go 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 every blood disease go now go now my grand headache go now go now fibroid go now go now Peptic ulcer, be gone right now. Be gone right now. HIV, 
one and two in any body or family I command you die now every infection in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be healed now Every eye problem be gone now. Deafness in the ears go now. Any of your family members who is bedridden, whether for stroke, I'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of Jesus. I command them to arise from that bed. Every plague of death over any family. He said, and when I see the blood, I will pass. I pray. Any devil that has said you will not see 2014, and I said your family members will not see it. I cast that devil in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Any kind of delay in this place, marital delay, or any kind of delay. At the count of three, yokes and causes of delay be gone one two three go 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 shake it 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 Hear me. Any altar of darkness, hear me. I don't care where it's coming from, that is speaking against your life or the well being of your family. Right now, that altar, wherever it is, it will catch fire now. Catch fire now. It will catch fire now. Shake it, it, it. Catch fire. Catch fire now! Every altar, secrete. Every altar, catch fire! Catch fire now! Every altar against any family, catch fire now! Hallelujah! Listen. Whoever has been marked for disfavor, that they say things cannot work for you or your family members, I remove that embargo of disfavor now, 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 now. now. Hallelujah. Hear me. Whatever the devil has stolen from your family, whatever the devil has stolen in your life, I stand as a servant of God. This one is going to hit many people. There are many families that need restoration. I will shout restore at the count of three. We're hurrying up, we're out of time. Father, let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place. One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Restore. Restore. Hallelujah. Every yoke of academic failure whether wayek whether jam 
some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now i see fire there are many of you it's an embargo of darkness you will feel like something jumping out of your head right now i command yokes of academic failure be lifted now 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 in the name of jesus hallelujah hear me some of you have struggled hear me some of you are christians or you have struggled with habits masturbation pornography it's not like you are bad you have been trying and trying to stop is eating your life whether for you or for your loved ones right now i pray that embargo of darkness sin shall not have dominion and i pray whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life leaves you now 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 anyone here looking for a job or your family members they've tried they've applied everywhere my bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the south nor the west i pray right now let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you may that anointing hit you now Take it! Take it! I command miracle jobs! Miracle jobs! Miracle jobs! In the name of Jesus! Those of us who are in business, or your family members are in business, I pray right now, in the name that is above all names, the Bible says it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yield its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither whatever it do it prospers I pray right now I command every business here grow in the name of Jesus grow in the name of Jesus expand in the name of Jesus increase in the name of Jesus hallelujah now hear me whatever trouble is in your family some of you your family is at the brink of divorce some of you your father is not taking care of you i don't care family problems god is visiting them now every family problem because god marked this miracle service for families every problem satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads of people at the count of three be released one two three families be free families be released i command peace i command prosperity i command love every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families be lifted now in the name of jesus Hallelujah. i pray those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now wherever they are destiny help us i call you into the life of god's people wine pressers and bakers show forth come forth and he went to the tomb of lazarus and lazarus was dead four days and he called him forth right now whatever is dead in your life and your family 
I stand under this unction of God and I pray whatever is dead I command it right now let that which is dead hear the voice of the Lord come forth now come forth now whatever is dead come forth now hallelujah I release breakthrough into your life receive it all kinds of breakthroughs all kinds of breakthroughs you are well favored I pray for your spiritual life some of you your spiritual lives are zero no word life no prayer life tonight let a fire that not even you can quench fire prayer fire word fire take it take it receive it in the name of jesus a hunger for the things of the spirit take it take it take it a hunger to study the word to be obedient receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah hear me the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and the Bible says that oil puts you above your fellows I pray for you wherever you go from today let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you let it distinguish you out of the crowd let it distinguish you receive it in the name of Jesus any member of your family that is not born again I pray by the permission of the spirit of god let the angels of god look for them and bring them into the faith now no matter how hardened they are we call them born again now we establish it every power that is not of god must let you and your family go tonight hallelujah Father, visit your people. 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 Now, hear me. At the count of three. Mm. So I see that sword again. I see that sword. Bring them out. I see that sword of the spirit. At the count of three, hear me. Inside and outside, there will be a convocation of the power of God. And every yoke of darkness must give way right now. Every spell and every enchantment. Man te la katosota is a blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance lift your hands at the count of three i like us to shout that name that is above every other name i invoke the power of the kingdom i represent and i declare in the name of the lord jesus that everyone and every family under any spell bring them out ushers every spell of darkness in the name that is above all names i speak with an apostolic voice from the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus that every power every witchcraft that has kept god's people down you must go now at the count of three shout that name one two get ready now three now now i command those powers i command powers inside and outside in the overflow right now 
right now mako pokotos embreketete shoto prosketa in the name of jesus i command judgment judgment every altar every yoke Outside, there are angels moving outside. There are angels with mighty swords outside. Soto to 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 makata pres sopo seke engrata ta ta. No power that ties your destiny will remain tonight. Embrekete soto kota mande brakata. Orekete brekete. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. All those in the overflow right to the second overflow at the back lift your hands lift your hands everybody outside jesus in the name of jesus i want those outside to shout that name jesus and there are people i see chains chains around people at the count of three those outside the holy ghost is going to visit families there is fire that will fall outside are you ready now those outside one two three I see a pruning fork outside. I see a pruning fork outside. Lord, let no family, let no individual stand. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now every devil that is back of any infirmity in the name of jesus i command that your power is broken now let god's people go free now in the name of jesus christ now i declare be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name my god just help those under the anointing be healed in jesus name from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in jesus name the power of god is going through your body now help them please help them be healed in jesus name blind eyes be open now partial complete blindness be open now there are some people having pain pain at the back side your lumbar vertebra be healed the power of god is touching you right now every kind of bone condition you're here you're on crutches you're on a wheelchair you don't have to bring them out you don't have to bring those under the anointing out there's no space because some other people will come you're on a wheelchair you're on crutches right now i declare in the name of jesus stand up stand up and lift your crush and walk in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus every blood condition every genotype issue we change it now hiv be healed now cancer be healed now the lord is ministering to me you don't have to come out there are a number of ladies with multiple lumps around your breast area the power of god is touching you right now after this prayer you check it you will not find it again in the name of jesus i'm seeing a i don't know if it's a, there's a there's a gentleman you have what looks like a swelling at the back of your neck after this prayer you check it right now you find out that it's gone completely in the name of jesus every blood condition 
goes right now migraine headache very severe pounding migraine headache the Lord is healing you right now I'm seeing someone you have this recurrent pattern it's like every month you have to treat typhoid or malaria every month no matter how well you treat it it still comes back the power of God is touching you right now I'm seeing three people the Lord is healing them from pile in fact for one of you it's a very severe issue you cannot even go to the toilet because of how inconveniencing it is and because of the excruciating pain we come in the name of the Lord Jesus let there be healing for you I see some of you lifting photos of your loved ones lifting the pictures of your loved ones wherever they are and those of you following by way of TV following online in the name of Jesus we decree and declare the healing power of Jesus leaves this altar right to your homes to your offices in the name of Jesus your homes your offices your devices let there be miracles in the name of Jesus the Christ of God in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone your your this is my right your right ear your right ear you feel you know how this is like there's water you are trying to get it to come out as soon as we are done praying check yourself you'll find out that a miracle has happened to you in the name of Jesus there is a woman you're, you're not exactly a young lady I'm saying that um, I don't know it's not appendicitis but there is a severe looks like there's a mast just around your lower abdominal area in the name of Jesus Christ as I pray for you I command that mass to disappear now the Lord is showing me a family your mother mama is in the hospital right now as I am speaking the power of God is touching her where she is this is this is a teaching hospital in the name of Jesus let there be a miracle now for time's sake whether i mention your case specifically or not in the name of jesus who is the christ of god he's been exalted both as lord and as christ i declare be healed now be healed now be healed now oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. He's able. Are you celebrating miracles? My God is able to do just what Miracles are happening everywhere. In the name of Jesus, who is the lifter of men, I decree and declare, in no time your world will look at you with shock and wonder. May the lifter of men lift you. May the lifter of men lift you. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life has changed. You will never be the same. You will never be the same. You touch this grace. Hallelujah. In one minute, let your expectations rise to heaven. Please go ahead. Jesus is here. Jesus is Lord. All over the nations, follow with hunger in your heart. Please lift your hands and pray. Everyone, everyone, lift your voice and pray. You are lifter. Shut up, 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 shut up
This is me, oh God. Hallelujah. Genesis 21 from verse 1 and 2. And the Lord visited Joshua Selman as he has said. And the Lord did unto Joshua Selman as he has spoken. The Bible says Sarah conceived. You don't have to be a woman to conceive this kind of conception. There are visions. There are things you can carry. Your mind is a womb too. And bear Abraham a son even in old age. At the set time which the Lord God has spoken. Father as you have spoken do to me. As you have spoken do to me tonight. Shake a paracus and then a balagatasia. Shala Shala Baracotabana. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm seeing people laughing in the spirit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The power of God is going to come on those people. This is very strange. But I want you to carry them and bring them out. Like an outburst of holy laughter. There is a prophecy for them. Bring them out. This is a ministry of signs and wonders. There is nothing superstitious here. It is the mighty act of God in the midst of his people. Bring them. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Please bring them. An outburst of laughter is not something you can control. Hmm. God of heaven. These people are not, this is not just a, a, some carnal manifestation. God is establishing great victories in their lives. Hallelujah. The Bible says, even the lawful captives. Hold on. Do you know what it means to be a lawful captive? To be a lawful captive means there is a legitimate ground upon the, which the devil is taking advantage of you. But he says, even the lawful captive at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus inside here following online at the overflow when we shout this name we let the nations know that he is the doer of these things now the moment we shout that name listen to me there are chains and there are yokes that have tied people down some of you as you are standing you are representing families at this shout the fire from heaven will fall upon you please i want you to bring them out bring your various overflow father there are men and women who have been under yokes of bondage all kinds bondages of delay bondages of retrogression the ill speakings of people and the bible declares for this purpose was the son of god made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil one therefore lord as we lift up this shout the healer the same way the walls of jericho fell let everything that does not name the name of christ give way are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout jesus I command every power. I command every force. Bring them out. Every yoke of ancestry holding God's people down in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. My God. Oh, God has so highly exalted him and given him a name an office above every other office above thrones 
above dominions. I declare every power holding you down. Bring them out. That power is dislodged now. We are still praying. Please bring them out. Halakato sadeketeba. Shadekete berekoto skoto brandegedia. Shagapakatos. Some of you are representing families. God is asking me to pray. The power of God is going to come upon you. But it's not just for yourself. It's for your entire family. Lord, every family represented here. Makatos keba. That is under any kind of yoke. I declare by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. That yoke is broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Every time good things are about to manifest, you keep walking, but just when it's about to happen, you may go back and have dreams and encounters and wake up and you will have bought precious things. Shabakatakata, embrekete basikata. Anyone here that experiences failure just at the edge of breakthrough, may fire fall upon you now. May fire fall upon you now. May fire fall upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb. Seated on the throne. Mountains bow down. Every ocean roll. To the Lord of Lords. We will pray. Adonai From the rising of the sun To Hallelujah, Elijah I'm hearing a name, Elijah Elijah We're going to pray for the sick shortly Please stretch your hands towards me I just saw something in the spirit If you can, just stretch your hands towards me I saw a vision and I'm seeing what looks like a bag being given to people. And the Lord is telling me, this is, I'm seeing written on it, good news. I'm seeing the number 71. Just stretch your hands towards me. Father, hold on please. From my left to my right, everyone who must receive this, inside, outside, right now, I stretch my hands. May that anointing come upon you. Help them please. In the name of Jesus, sounds of good news. Sounds of good things. Sounds of good. Help them. Some of you news that you have been waiting for for many years. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Suddenly. What do you do? You are Elijah. What do you do? Pastor. You are a pastor. Where? You have your own church? Can I pray for you? Please. You are Elijah. Hold on, please. Don't. Mr. Man, I'm seeing fire coming on you now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor, can I pray for you? Listen, we are co-laborers and God granted us grace to help one another. Are we together now? I stretch my hands towards you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you. May your ministry step into profound dimensions of signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God, Please look up. I'm seeing a very interesting vision. The Lord just opened my eyes and I saw a grave. And I saw it open. And I saw things, not people, things that are there coming out. I'm declaring to someone. This is not just restoration, this is resurrection. There are some of you, they've concluded things about you, about your family, about businesses. I call upon my God, everything that has been buried over your destiny, that you will not rise. 
conclusions made over your family. I call upon my God, who is your God, Talita Kumi, that which is dead, come back to life. Talita Kumi, that which is dead, come back to life. Help them, please. Every family, dying businesses, dying families, come back to life by the power of the Holy Ghost. Even if it is three months, in the name of Jesus, barrenness dies now. Barrenness dies now. Barrenness dies now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, I pray for you. According to the time of life, in the name that is above all names, go and tell your husband that the Lord has brought visitation for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her please. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you, Zaina, in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bring a visitation for your family. A supernatural visitation. Everyone trusting God for a job. I just saw something now. Please believe. Hmm. You are trusting God for a job. Wherever your job is, in the name of Jesus Christ, may God take you there right now. I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Some of you, by this time next week, I stand by the God of my covenant and I declare by this time next week may god surprise you you will come and stand here and you will testify of the marvelous hand of god in the name of jesus christ hallelujah we are going to pray for the sick shortly i'm hearing a name pious who is pious pious you are pious you are a worker here you are a new security here it's still the same thing all this ministry doesn't whether you're a worker you know most times people have a cliche in churches that workers don't receive anything only other people get, no this once jesus shows up including me who is speaking everybody you will swim in that river and you receive are we together i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ i declare by the power of the holy spirit no the pious I'm seeing is wearing white like me, like this. This is what you are wearing. <laughs> you are surprised. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll still pray for you. Ah, you are. We love our workers. You are faithful. How could I'm just trying to say that this is what's not the word. You understand? But it means that. Listen. Whether God gives you a prophetic word in your ears or not, the prophecy of scripture is valid. You can use the prophecy of scripture and prophesy to yourself. And it will happen the same way a prophet spoke to you. No matter how accurate what we say is, we still see in part. The word of God, scripture must be exalted above every gift and every prophetic word. This becomes your comfort. That even though we may not have the time to mention everybody's name, and even if there is time, we do not have, the Bible says, though I speak with tongues of men and angels, though I understand all visions and all of that, we are limited. But it's for you to believe. Sir, I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from, sir? Abuja, yeah. Can I pray for you? God is lifting people. This is what I'm seeing. God is lifting people. God is showing me someone, you work in civil defense. It's time for your lifting. This is, this is civil defense. Civil defense. Now, Madam, you work in civil defense. I will pray for you, but is there anybody on the balcony that works in civil defense? This is what I'm seeing. This is a lady or not a man. Is there someone like that? Balcony, oh, find out, find out first. Where, where were you sitting? 
Come, come and stand. This is the place of encounter. Hallelujah. My dear, in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what is the issue that is on the table. According to the word of the Lord, if God could locate you, I declare, and I also pray for you, also civil defense, madam, I want to pray for you. Where are you from? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will come and stand, both of you. You will stand here before the people of God and you will testify of strange liftings. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Sir, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Help her, please. Daddy, I don't know why you are standing outside here, but I want to pray for you. We are going to pray for the sick. I'm going to pray for you. Is it husband and wife? Madam, I need to pray because I hope you are not embarrassed. Sir. Can I talk to you? Ah, we have to pray. I believe in miracles. God is taking sickness. Sickness. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing many things. I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down, up and down, up and down. This is VP. Two people will start running in the overflow outside. Outside. Now, we may not have time to bring them out outside. I'm seeing the power of God outside, the overflow outside. Just bring them to the front of the projector screen. I want to pray for them because the Lord is taking away the yoke of delay over those families. This is what the Lord is showing me. Sir, may my God bless you in the name of Jesus. And for you, sir, may my God, please stand up. You're a worker. What do you want God to do for you? Look at a wise man. You heard what he said? He said, I want to know him more. Is it not relationship that brought this privilege now? Don't you think relationship has other privileges too? The greatest prayer request is relationship. You can have a man's hand, but when you have his heart, you have access to everything. Are we together? And I truly pray that God will help you to know him more. The Holy Ghost that was given to us to help us know the Lord. But in addition to that, the fringe benefits of that relationship. Let it speak in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every human agent. In partnership with dark powers. Over your husband, madam, or over your wife, sir. Or over your children. Or over your parents. I bow my knees to the God of my covenant. And I declare... In the name of Jesus, that thing is destroyed now. Destroyed now. Destroyed now. Help them. Destroyed now. Please stand up. Let me tell you this. You see, one of the ways that God helps you to dispense the anointing is he plants compassion in you over the lives of people. This is somebody's father. And grandfather now he said that look doctors are a miracle they are instruments of God's mercy without them will not even live to even learn the ways of God but look what is happening to this man now we're about to pray for the sick shortly I'm sure there's a reason why the Lord left him here that he came together with our mother here and now they are, I don't know what kind of surgery they are going to do now but that he will never be able to speak again Sir, come again. So that either life or death. Don't worry, madam. You are in the right place. You 
you're a man of God here, please listen to me. You see the reason why we must keep contending for the anointing. It's not enough to say I'm Apostle Joshua Selman, I am this. Our alignment, there are destinies tied to our obedience. There are destinies tied to our prayer, our fasting, our diligence. The miracle that happens to this man and this family can bring many to Jesus. So no matter what level you are in ministry, please let this thing plant a genuine hunger. All these celebrity things that destroy us, push it one side and settle with God. Carry genuine fire, ever increasing fire. Yesterday's oil may not solve today's challenges. You will need fresh fire for the season. And if you are not ready to stay with God, don't ask God to give you members. What will you be doing with them? It's evil to ask people to come and gather people everywhere and then waste their time, share the grace and go back. Please don't be offended. I'm not, I'm just sharing with you a passion. I'm looking at this man's situation. Daddy, we're going to pray for you. And I believe Jesus that he will do a miracle for you. I don't know what it is that he has put. And then God will heal you of BP. Because I saw a thermometer going up and coming down. Can we pray for the sick now? In the name of Jesus. Please, no, stand up, sir. It's important. You see, I know that we live in very challenging times. And the devil has complicated matters by bringing all kinds of sicknesses on people. We had the miracle service in Zaria the um, day before yesterday and I was touched and broken when a woman came who had showed me they, they were doing dialysis for her. It's a family that is not well, very well to do. And then in the midst of it now, I'm not a doctor but medical people will tell you here. I don't know how much it costs to do dialysis but it's a very serious thing. Hallelujah. But Jesus still heals. Are we together? Now lay your hands very quickly, everyone. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. He touched me. The Master touched me. And oh, what joy. Something happened, and now I know He touched me. There will be a loud shout of a gentleman and a lady. The moment that shout happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. A gentleman and a lady. Now we're ready to pray. Please, I'd like you to believe with a loud amen as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God, the healing anointing is flowing here. In the name of Jesus Christ. every devil behind infirmities you don't have to bring them out right now miracles are happening i command those devils to give way now give way now give way now now in the name of jesus christ from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in jesus name be healed in Jesus name migraine headaches be healed in Jesus name ulcers be healed in Jesus name all kinds of growths and lumps around the body I command them to disappear now Conditions be healed now. 
those on crutches those on wheelchairs in the name of Jesus be healed now be healed now and you try to stand up you're on a crutch lift the crutch and start walking in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ deaf ears partial deafness complete deafness be healed now blind eyes open now all kinds of cancers and ulcers like our father here now I'm praying for you sir in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands to you and then as a point of contact to everyone having any demonic death sentence in Jesus name be healed now be healed now the Lord is showing me people having severe abdominal problems all kinds of abdominal problems here the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone what you have looks like what we call Parkinson's I think I'm right that thing that makes you to just shake your body shakes in the name of Jesus I declare may the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now may the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now be healed in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a lady here you don't have anything cancer but your hair falls is this this has been a very demonic thing right now the power of God is touching you be healed now be healed now please don't don't you are punishing this man just keep him somewhere when he's healed he can stand up and come huh the man is trying to stand now don't be embarrassed I want to pray for you you don't have to come out the Lord is showing me a woman you are not um, what do you call it now you are not a nursing mother yet you are lactating now I hope I know what I'm saying praise the Lord but this is what is happening in the name of Jesus Christ let there be a miracle for you now I don't know what the medical condition is but in Jesus name we stop it now there's someone your left is this your left eye you don't see very well with it after this prayer check it right now a miracle is happening to you i'm feeling pains here literally at the left side of my uh what they call this your kneecap this is somebody's condition right now the power of god is touching you supernatural miracle right now supernatural miracle right now in the name of jesus christ back pains all kinds of back pains in the name of Jesus Christ be healed now the Lord is showing me at least eight people you have to take pills to sleep you can't lie down normally and sleep I think there's a medical condition there's a name for it you are, you are not able to lie down and sleep you must take a lot of drugs one of you the power of god is coming on you now that demonic thing we command it to live your life in jesus name in the name of jesus and then i'm seeing someone until now i think you have a problem with your shoulder i don't know what it is you cannot lift it as soon as i pray just lift it check yourself do what you cannot do you'll be surprised that the power of god has touched you right now supernatural miracle and then i'm seeing someone you can't walk like walk outside for a long time you become unusually tired you are not a very old person but then you walk no matter how even if you you rested the whole day once you walk out just for a few minutes you become extremely tired the power of god is touching you now no you don't have to come out you check yourself when when it's time to take miracles we'll take them in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing multiple breast lungs the lord is healing them right now any stranger in your body that has not been planted by god i command it to go out now
Hallelujah. I'm seeing you've been feeling like you are pregnant, but you are not pregnant, and yet it looks like the symptoms of pregnancy is with you, dear. This is a demonic thing. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that that kind of occurrence. You have dreams and you see all these ugly spirits come to molest you, and this thing you you feel as if you are pregnant physically. But then you are not really pregnant in the name of jesus anyone in fraternity with dark powers that they are taking advantage of you to spy upon your liberty i declare be released right now sugar diabetes be healed now hepatitis be healed now The Lord is showing me someone. Is it that you fell down from a bed or you fell down from a building or something? And your rib area is like you fell down right there. And from that day till now, there's been severe pain around your rib area. But right now, as I'm spraying, the power of God is touching you. Yeah. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Yeah. Please begin to pray and decree and declare these Egyptians I see today I see them no more forever please make sure you pray God of vengeance has fight my battle for me God of miracles has won my battles for me i'm a winner man i'm a winner man he has won my battle for me i'm a winner man god of vengeance god of vengeance has won my battle for me god of miracles has won my battle for me I'm a winner man I'm a winner man Father I want you to believe right now the anointing you need for the results that your destiny needs to command I pray for you you don't have to bring those under the anointing outside now in the name of Jesus whether in ministry whether in politics in business there are parliamentarians here there are people from everywhere there are business people veterans in business civil service i pray the unction required for the next level of your results i stand here and i declare let it come upon you now i decree and declare you will check all these requests and you will not find any left And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon whoever must send for you in this season I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead may the book of remembrance be opened now if there's anyone here that the spirit of death is trailing or trailing your family members whether death through the air by sea by land in the name of jesus we speak to the spirit of death you stay clear of them now <laughs> hallelujah every long-standing issue that has refused to answer to the name of the lord i agree with you in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be answered tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Whatever has failed in your hands, in the name of Jesus, go back and succeed. <laughs> Whatever has refused to walk in your hands, I declare go back and succeed.
for those of you in ministry fresh fire for the new season those of you in business fresh connections and illumination those in politics parliamentarians supernatural grace in the name of jesus and then i pray for your spiritual life there is always an emphasis on our relationship with jesus christ our passion and our hunger i'm going to make the altar call shortly but let me pray for your spiritual life you go up today you are down tomorrow you pray today then you ignore the prayer altar you study today then you ignore it the grace for consistency take that grace now grace for prayer fasting word study worship may that grace rest upon you now can we pray over favor hmm. father upon your people the proof of favor is not just money the proof of favor is loyalty to the hearts of men i pray for you everybody who must consider you in the name that is above all names find favor with them find favor with systems find favor with structures find favor with government find favor with captains of industry find favor with gatekeepers in the name of jesus christ and everything you came with tonight as a point of contact i declare by the spirit of the living god whether it's a document your credentials whatever it is i release my faith and i agree with you even as you have lifted it up you remain lifted in the name of jesus christ shame and reproach we call it by name and we banish it from your life in the name of jesus christ and everything sitting upon your prayer life to insist that you will not rise in the name of jesus and by the spirit of the christ i clear it out of your life i clear it out of your destiny in the name of jesus christ The Lord is showing me a door in the spirit and this door has been closed for a long time refusing to open this is what I'm seeing I truly believe that God is speaking about someone a family in the name that is above all names I call upon he that holds the key of David and I speak over every closed door no matter how ancient no matter how long that has refused to open over your life your ministry in the name of Jesus we command that door open now 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 be open now in the name of Jesus open up Peter and Peter be open now Now I stretch my hands, whether by the power of witchcraft or activities of ancestry, everything Kalita Faroto Subata that is responsible, bring them out, that is causing your face, that you will not be seen, is, 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 is affecting your visibility in ministry. There are people in ministry here, you have integrity, you are walking in grace, but there is a veil over your face. There are businessmen, there are captains of industry, right now by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ, 
I declare for such people in this auditorium and outside, please bring them. Right now, may the fire of the Holy Spirit burn those veils right now. Burn those veils right now. Turn it into a prayer. Every veil covering the glory of God upon my life. It says, But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. You are my glory. He called him the lifter up of my head. Bring them out. Everyone whose glory has been covered for no matter how long. You are immersed in the anointing of the Holy Ghost and it must give way now. You came to church. This is the house of God. Lift your voice and pray. Now, O oh Lord, at the shield for me, you are my glory, you are my glory, you are my glory, the lifter up of my head, the lifter up of my destiny. Elohim Madonna you pray, hear me, except God did not send me, if there is anyone under the sound of my voice that there is any kind of yoke, over your life, over your ministry, I stand by the rod of the apostolic, I stand by the rod of the prophetic, I declare judgment on strength spirit, judgment on foundation, judgment on yoke of darkness. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. Oh, I decree again in the realm of the spirit. Let God's people go. I prophesy an exodus over your life from every realm of captivity. I'm saying it by the spirit. I declare the power that will not let you go must let you go this night bring them out the force that will not let you go this is koinonia the force that will not let you go I stand by the God of heaven the God of Shashuron that rides upon the wings of the wind I declare must let you go now The Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The Holy Ghost is ministering to me. There are people in business here. Every time good things are about to happen, there are forces, familiar spirits that stand to shut doors. I'm praying for business people. I stand by the unction of Jesus and I declare anyone here in business, whatever power has refused to let you advance, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, comes under fire. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Release your destiny. Release your business. In the name of Jesus Christ. It says, say unto God, how terrible are thou in your ways. It is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves. Every long-standing infirmity in your body that will not let you go. Hear me? I don't care what it is called. Blood disease, genotype issues, recovery.
current thing eating your finances destroying the destiny of your family at the count of three you will shout jesus and there will be a miracle of healing right now all kinds of spirits that are the back of mysterious infirmities are you ready now at the count of three shout that name that is above every other name one two three shout jesus be healed be healed blood condition be healed Heart condition, be healed. Migraine, be healed. All kinds of bodily infirmities. Let me pray one more prayer. Whoever is sitting on what is yours. Between now and the end of this month, I stand by the God of heaven and by the spirit of prophecy. Please hear what I'm saying. Again, I repeat, whoever is sitting exchanging your destiny by the God of heaven I declare my God will uproot them my God will uproot them my God will uproot them for all of you in front here I decree and declare, standing for yourselves and your families, the spirits behind the mysterious tragedies of your life, I speak as one sent. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Release their destinies now. They came to the house of God. Let them go now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Who is this man? Come. What do you do, sir? Sir, I was into business, but nothing is moving. You were into business? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. I'm not a prophet of doom. This is the house of God. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing snakes from head to toe. This is what I'm seeing all around you. The Bible, this is the house of God. If we cannot solve problems supernaturally, we are wasting our time here. Sir, I'm saying it to you in the open by prophecy. The same way you are standing here, this is the same way you will stand here. Your life will change in a way that will surprise you. I stretch my hand. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, let it open you to new dimensions. In the name of Jesus, every legal basis upon which the devil is oppressing you and your business, I come by the blood of Jesus and I declare it is over right now. Hallelujah. Everything that will not let you be fruitful is a command. Whatever will want you to disobey that command. I open up your womb in the name of Jesus. And according to the time of life, I decree and declare, return with your miracle children. Regardless the medical report, we stand by the God of heaven and we declare, Oppression in the area of fruitfulness come to end now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, 
some of you, your home must change. Your job must change. Your job must change. Your job must change. Your job must change. We believe in you. We believe in your grace. We believe in your power. This is Mount Zion. The city of our God, the dwelling place of his power. to lift your voice in one minute and cry for a visitation tonight let it be from the depth of your heart don't look around forget about who is by your left and right cry to the god of our salvation give me an encounter tonight in the name of jesus for everyone that has get received are you praying? Everyone that has them, receive Pray, you're enlarging your capacity to receive it. You will never be the same. This is the house of God. You will never be the same. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. There's a reason why I'm raising this song. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. But the Lord is opening my eyes. I saw chains on the feet of people. That's why I raised this song. I'm seeing the number 23. I stretch my hands. Anyone under the influence of this unction, and there is a chain of darkness holding you. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Inside and outside, I want you to bring them here. In the name that is above all names. This is Mount Zion. And the Bible declares that upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. Are you ready to shout? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break chain. I break chain. Bring them out. I break chain. Every chain that will not let you move forward. Every chain that holds you down. He must lead you now. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Bring them out. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Please just lay your right hand on your head. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Please be silent. No instrument, no nothing. Just lay your right hand on your head. I'm just seeing fire move from person to person. Just bring those under the anointing outside. There is a massive deliverance. I'm seeing horns. And the Lord is telling me that these are ancient altars that are sitting on families that will not let them go free. Some of you have been so for long, but except God did not send us, I tell you those altars will not last to this service. Just keep your hands on your head. Father, in the name of Jesus, anyone under the sound of my voice, in here the overflows outside following online if there is any handwriting and any altar pateke barata bring them outside on anyone's destiny on anyone's life those altars catch fire right now keep your hands on your head Release that family, all of them. Release that family. Not just one person. Release that family. This is a whole family under bondage. Release them. Release them. Release them now. Release them now. Father, mother, siblings. Release them. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a family, no one gives back. Fruitfulness is a challenge. The Lord is releasing that family right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is Koinonia. Every manifestation of witchcraft exchanging the glory of anyone here so that where you should be, another is taking your place. I command that spirit to give way right now in the name of Jesus. I command that spirit to give way in the name of Jesus. These chains that I see on people's feet, it's time to release them right now. You've been at the same position for many years. The only thing growing in your life is your age. Nothing more is growing. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over it. I take authority over it. Hallelujah. Who is Bethel? I'm hearing a name Bethel. Bethel. We'll be seated shortly. But this is the house of God. Bethel. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam. I don't know who this woman is. Yes, that one with her hand on her head. Madam, look at me. I'm seeing oil being poured on your head. And the Lord is saying a major breakthrough is coming to your family. <laughs> that things will never be the same. You don't have to bring her out. What's your name? Is she in the Bethel? What's you are Bethel, madam? Let me pray for you. There is a battle that the Lord is asking me to rebuke death from your family. Because I am seeing obituary by the month of May. And the Lord is saying we must rebuke that spirit. Hear me. Anyone that digs a pit for you here, I declare the earth will open and swallow them. The Bible says, and the Lord of peace shall give you peace always and by all means. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. All of the Bethels who are here, I stretch my hands and I declare that the plague of death 
is over from your life and your family we minister life by the spirit of grace in the name of jesus christ and for all of you who are out here by the spirit i open up every closed door right now and in the name of jesus we release you to prophetic dimensions move to the next levels of your life next levels of your destinies in the name of jesus christ one more time whatever will not let you go i call on my god who is also your god may he clear them out of the way may he clear them out of the way may he clear them out of the way every obstacle that will not let you advance i call on my god to clear them out of your way in the name that is above all names i speak unto you an unusual anointing that will step you into encounters with the Holy Ghost. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. A dimension of unction that you have never functioned in. In the name that is above all names. I prophesy that this year you will ride upon a river an unction that will take you to superior levels in the spirit. Oh, I command it to be so in the spirit. I command it to be so in the spirit. I pray for you. The mark of favor that can come upon a man and produce uncommon access in the name that is above all names may that mark come upon your life right now i prophesy to you may that mark come upon your life right now may that mark come upon your life right now listen honor is an anointing there is an anointing that can come upon a man and make him honorable. He says, and Jabez was more honorable. That anointing that makes men honorable. I release it upon you right now. Receive that anointing for honor. Uncommon honor. God will position men to celebrate your grace. They will appreciate you. They will sow into your grace. I pray for you this year. May the spirit of revelation, illumination and insight into the mysteries and the oppression of the kingdom. I release it upon you right now. Oh, eyes to see, eyes to see. I release it upon you. On common dimension of access to spiritual realities. I release it upon you like a mantle in the name of the Lord Jesus. My goodness, there are strange impartations, strong impartations that are happening to people by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. I release impartations of this unction, the spirit of revelation, strange levels of access in the spirit. I open to you fountains, fountains of light in the spirit. I open you up to mysteries. I open you up to mysteries in the name of Jesus. I open you up to mysteries, strange operations of mysteries. Hallelujah. Hear me. Every person who you must connect to to rise, wherever they are, 
is called the year of multiplied influence i'm prophesying to you please believe me from the north to the south the east and the west every anointing every grace you must connect to to rise i release access to you in the name of jesus access to people access to anointings access to opportunities in the name of jesus oh connect with influential people i release that anointing upon you receive it connect to influential people receive it right now influence influence i stand upon this apostolic office and i prophesy supernatural influence connect to people in government connect to people everywhere in the name of jesus they will listen to you when you speak they will rise up to help you rise up for you every door that refused to open it in the name of jesus under this multiplied grace we compel that door to open in the name of jesus every door that refused to open every obstacle that refused to let you go right now in the name of jesus i command that door open now open now hear me i prophesy to your loved ones this year we force results in your family hear me again this year we command results in your family may the angel that has been assigned to koinonia the angels that have been dispatched to honor this prophetic word may they go to every family and begin to cause the word of god to come alive listen some of you it will not reach 24 hours your result will start coming believe me it will not reach 24 hours your results will start coming dramatic results listen koinonia you will hear testimonies this year that will make you afraid people will come and stand here and you will think they are lying because of the breakthrough upon breakthrough upon breakthrough receive it in the name of jesus christ i bless the work of your hands this year may an anointing come upon it in the name of jesus for students i pray a level of grace and ease that you have never seen a level of superior intelligence i release it upon you right now i release it upon you right now listen this is the year of jubilee and i prophesy to you the opening of gates to every age-long challenge prophetically and even historically this is the season of jubilee and in the season of jubilee you let go captives i command every captivity in this season of jubilee it must let you go right now in the name of jesus christ for we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom i want to pray for you but we are going to pray one more prayer point hear me the bible says the scripture we started in give us that scripture again lamentations 5 verse 7 please quickly we want to pray and then we'll round up lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 our fathers have seen and are not and we have borne their iniquities but now if i appropriate the revelation that i've been called out of every tribe out of every tongue out of every nation i can't go to hell because i, I was born in kogi or i was born in plateau state i did ask them to do witchcraft and now that they have done it if the land is caused i exempt myself i can't be a victim of another man's wickedness listen i'd like you to pray with all your heart and say i begin a new order a new order dissociated from the past alienated from witchcraft and causes an 
Listen, let me tell you, if God be God, everything that you're carrying, I don't care whether it's self-inflicted, you have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ. His advocacy at the throne of the Father does not happen automatically. It happens in response to an incense sent from the earth. The same way his high priestly ministry, the Bible says is in the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with Abraham and he gave him a tenth of all. I want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft. Koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Yes. I stretch my hands right now. Hear me. I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that. I stretch my hands right now. Let it be. Shabbos Kupadabash. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Inside, outside, I stretch my hands. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now. From activities of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Demonic activities. Strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you. Men, women, animals, and all kinds of things. Coming to destroy you, plant rubbish in your body. I pray right now, in the name of Jesus, anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams, caused as a result of ancestry, right now in the name of Jesus, I command freedom, I command liberty, I command freedom. I command liberty. The blood speaks right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, The earth is cursed for your sake. He says, with the sweat of your brows shall you eat. But the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3 verse 29, He says, and if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. I want to speak and set you free. There is a cause of hardship. Many people are victims of this cause. Hardship has nothing to do with poverty. Listen carefully. Many people here, you are standing representing your families as I pray. And right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I stretch my hands right now. I command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder. Help them. Be taken 
from off your shoulders. Be taken from off your shoulders. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I command that force of action. Be taken from off your shoulders. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, I declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life. Step into it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke of disfavor, bad luck that looms around the life of men and women here so that you never rise is like a veil on your face and anyone who sees you walks against you I command that veil be taken off right now be taken off right now be taken off right now in the name of Jesus Christ and Cain said my punishment is too great he said i have become a fugitive and a vagabond he said all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me whether they are strangers something upon me makes all who see me to slay me any mark seketo shalakras katabadiasha lebren tekes kotabras katania any mark upon your life upon your business upon your ministry that keeps attracting woes keeps attracting scandals keeps attracting negativism right now in the name of Jesus that mark be blotted forever be blotted forever. Be blotted forever. Any strange sickness in your body, through your blood, that came from ancestry, genotypes, SS, Shakatosia, AS. There's no such reality in the realm of the spirit. That provision does not exist. It's a manipulation from the second heavens. Altering the genetics of men. But right now in the name of Jesus, every blood related issue passed to you by covenant. I blot it out of your body right now. I blot it out right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The classic sign of curses and yokes is the presence of patterns. You usually are not the first to experience that. But I want to prophesy right now. I don't know what patterns you have seen around your life, you have seen around your finances, you have seen around your work with God. You are up today, down tomorrow. You are serious today, on serious tomorrow. You love the Lord today, you love something else tomorrow. Your ministry rises today, crashes tomorrow. Your finances is up today and is blown like the wind. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says every house is built by some man, but God is the builder. Therefore, I decree and declare that any pattern, any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the Christ, in the name that is above all names, I command a tearing down and a rebuilding now. 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 I announce to the realm of the spirit whatever should have happened to your life by now for good but because of the presence of these embargoes there are dimensions you should have entered in Christ there are levels of growth levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access that you should have been a custodian of by grace and for whatever reason 
certain objections have risen in the realm of the spirit to stop you in the name of jesus christ i provoke restoration right now 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 i pray over your life and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and the bible says elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of ahab down to jizreel i want to speak speed in your life i don't know what tied you down by now according to the program of god for you you should have entered certain levels you should have been the mother of four children now but you are yet to have one therefore i command speed step into it right now in the name of jesus I command speed, speed of accomplishment, speed of accomplishment, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. For there is an unction that can come on a man. There is an anointing that can produce an outcome that is not available in the earth. There is an anointing that is called the breaker anointing, the yoke destroying. There is such a provision in the kingdom to not only be set free but to be a possessor of a spiritual substance that is capable of causing everyone within the influence of your grace to come under the influence of the liberty that you possess it's an anointing there is a provision in the dealings of god with men where men can carry atmospheres that have prophetic implication to all those who come within the circumference of that atmosphere you will not have the time to pray for everybody but you can carry a climate i want to release a grace and unction upon your life that you will go back home you will go back to regions you will go back to places you will enter your room there are physical territories that are caused but like mara the water you will pick it and in the name of jesus you will change that situation like the listen 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 the bible says that the prophets were eating and they said there is death in this food and he said bring me flour and he put it and said go ahead and eat there is an ability there is an unction that can fetter the plants of darkness in the name of jesus wherever you are like a mantle may that anointing come upon your life right now so don't so dark let it to get a breaker anointing the grace and the unction carry the fire Carry the grace, carry the unction, command deliverance, make environment cost free in the name of Jesus. May your presence, your presence in your home, your presence in your office, your presence in your ministry sustain an ability to nullify ordinances nullify yokes and causes and enchantments surely they shall gather but because their gathering is not of god there is a substance you possess that will disengage everything that is of god receive it now in the name of jesus I declare that from now, step into a season of joy and laughter. Step into a season of joy and laughter. It says, you have turned my mourning into dancing my sorrow to joy. I, I, I call to end the days of sorrow. I call to end the days of mourning. I appoint unto you a new season of laughter. In the name of Jesus, whatever represents stagnation in your life that will not let you move forward, I break you from whatever is stopping your advancement. I break you from whatever is stopping your advancement. And in the name of
of Jesus, go forward. In the name of Jesus, go forward. In your career, go forward. In ministry, go forward. In business, go forward. In your academics, go forward. Hallelujah. I prayed over a church yesterday where I ministered. The grace for visibility. The Bible says you are a city that is set on a hill. You see, one of the ways that God brings honor to you is to give you visibility. Visibility means he gives you an exalted platform where your gift, your grace, and your value can be discerned, can be engaged, and can be rewarded. We all need this in our lives. There are many gifted people without a platform that gives them visibility. When it was time for Jesus to enter into Jerusalem, he didn't say, well, I'm king of kings. He said, bring a donkey. I need something that elevates me. So that in that exalted position, I can have a triumphant entry. A triumphant entry cannot happen when your feet is still on the ground. It needs to be exalted. I prophesy to someone, in the name of Jesus, in this season, the supernatural platform that God would have to give your ministry, your business, to give you multiplied visibility. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Some of you here are in ministry and you love the Lord with all your heart, but the truth is that the current level of grace you carry, you have the work that now is before you, you will need a higher level of grace. The level of grace that you now have, you will not be able to do much. Our possibilities are governed, among many other factors, by the quality and the dimension of grace that is upon us. So grace and peace is multiplied. I pray for you. Everyone here who is in the work of the ministry and you are experiencing limitation, maybe there's no church growth, maybe resources, there are no destiny helpers, in the name of Jesus Christ, step into a new season of impact. I place a grace upon you. Step into a new season of impact. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for our families? We are advocates of the corporate prosperity of both individuals and families. Because you see, if you rise and you are experiencing God alone, you are still not free. The anointing is coming on this lady, you. Bringing to end everything that is not of the Christ. Listen, do you know, let me tell you what is happening in the realm of the spirit. For every word that I utter, you are just saying amen. But you see this is what happens. Every word, the sound you see, enters your ears and stops there. But the anointing, that is on the sound rests on your head and begins to make your life are you seeing that now it makes your life to respond in a way and manner that must make that prophetic word come to pass so don't just shout amen like you do to a preacher what is happening is that there are layers and layers of spiritual things on your head layers so when you leave you are living with layers of possibilities and you find out that things begin to shift in your life this gentleman i don't know who you are come your life is about to change stand up where are you coming from from taraba god will use you greatly take that fire take that fire in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same pick him up in the name of Jesus, serve God with sincerity. Serve God with integrity. Bring him closer. There is something he's receiving. I impart upon you the grace for signs and wonders. Multiply influence, visibility. In the name of Jesus Christ, go and do exploits for the kingdom. This lady, come. Run, come. 
receive that grace it will turn you into a sign and a wonder i ignite that prophetic fire within your spirit receive of that grace you will never be the same never be the same signs and wonders and uncommon ministry in the name of jesus christ nobody like you lord nobody like you lord that has refused to shift over your life and your destiny in the name of Jesus I decree and declare over you that mountain be taken from off you right now that mountain be taken from off you right now let me pray over your finances do you know why because there is something lack of resources can do to your focus and your concentration are we together now it's a cost to spend your life looking for money there are things you will not be able to do for the kingdom i know some of you are trusting god for jobs i know some of you are trusting god for all kinds of liftings but hear me hear me god put the apostolic and the prophetic the realm of the spirit is an advantage to your pursuit so that there are occurrences that happen at the instance of intellect there are occurrences that happen at the instance of time there are occurrences that happen at the instance of your value but there are occurrences that happen at the instance of the prophetic in the name of jesus i declare god who has helped me god who has helped this ministry i cry unto god who is called ebenezer receives supernatural financial favor supernatural financial favor i open up doors for you in the spirit i open up doors for you doors of opportunity doors of favor may god connect you to people connect you to platforms connect you to opportunities for your lifting in the name of jesus christ hear me i truly speak over your life by the spirit of grace between now and the end of i elevate you to a higher dimension financially hallelujah let me pray for your spiritual life you see listen hold on no matter what you do right if your spiritual life goes wrong your life is wrong did you hear what i said no matter whether you are prospering getting jobs having children if your work with god goes wrong the result is that your entire destiny is wrong i'm about to pray for your spiritual life some of you love the lord but many things have happened around your life your spiritual life your fire may not be the way it used to be your hunger may not be the way it used to be your zeal for the house of god may not be the way it used to be that lady near the door the hand of god is coming on her that's right i want to pray for you that the fire upon your altar will not go down father every spirit of lukewarmness prayerlessness wordlessness i crush that spirit now receive fresh hunger for the things of god fresh hunger for the things of god fresh passion for spiritual things may your prayer fire multiply now the grace to pray the grace to fast the grace to intercede receive it in the name of jesus the grace to sit down and study the grace to sit down and study receive that grace in the name of jesus hear me every wrong association and wrong relationship 
that will not promote your spiritual health I cut you away from it now let me pray for those trusting God for jobs if you are here and you are trusting God for a job my God I pray that you will honor this word in the name that is above all names prophetically we shift systems and structures and we create space for you help them please we shift systems and structures in the name of Jesus Christ every dying business here you are losing you are not prospering you are discouraged in the name of Jesus whatever it is that you are involved with I give it life in the name of Jesus let me pray for students undergraduate postgraduate in the name of Jesus the spirit of excellence the grace that makes for extraordinary academic achievements receive that grace in the name of Jesus receive that grace in the name of Jesus receive that grace in the name of Jesus retentive memory exceptional spirit in the name of Jesus Christ listen in the name of Jesus supernatural understanding I release it upon you supernatural understanding all those who are students trusting God for accommodation trusting God for a destiny helper to help you you don't have to go around living your life go around meeting men meeting women because you are trying to raise money for accommodation I pray for you may the mercy of God open up strange doors for you I pray for everyone here who has a project on ground whether building project whatever kind of project you are on the hand of Zerubbabel that began that work I decree and declare that same hand will complete it receive the finishers anointing receive the finishers anointing in the name of Jesus Christ the spirit of kidnapping where someone just leaves his house and all of a sudden people just come and carry them take them somewhere and now are asking for evil people asking for ransom money that if the family had they will use it to build a house or do something productive please hear the prayer one of the blessings of the prophetic is to establish the security that is in Christ it says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side but none shall harm you that with your eyes shall you see and behold even the reward of the wicked I pray for you any gang up against you and your loved ones in the afternoon in the morning in the night whether through acts of terrorism whether through the sword in the air on land in the name of Jesus it is averted forever averted forever and I declare over your life hear me I declare over your life anyone who will not let you rest in this season the Bible says the Lord of peace shall give you peace always by all means I declare may that by all means grace come upon you and judge everything that will not give you rest in the name of Jesus Christ you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change you will never be the same you've touched his grace celebrate the god of wonders mighty things are about to happen here Prophesy to yourself now. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life has changed. Hallelujah. I 
assure you that if he's the God of heaven, you will be surprised. I'm about to pray a very serious prayer. There are people today, as it is, there is nothing in your hand. But I give you one month from today, by the God that I serve, honestly, if God be God, you will marvel and wonder at what happens a month from now. You will stand on this altar in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to pray a prayer and I want you to bring those people out. There is a grace that God wants to reveal in this meeting. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. Please give it to us and then we pray. Exodus chapter 3. Let your hearts be open. Please be prayerful. Don't be distracted. Help us media. Please read with me if you can see. Ready? Read. And I will give Joshua Selman favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And the proof is that it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. I want to pray. There is a grace that is coming upon people. And this grace is for strange dimensions of favor. God wants to shift people. Some of you are representing businesses and families. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Help me with the symbol, please. Please, can you just teach him, let him know what to do. In the name of Jesus, right now I declare, Father, even as you have revealed to me, I'm seeing the number 28. 28 people. The hand of God is coming upon them. You are drinking of that grace for favor. Some of you is in answer to the prayers of your loved ones. They prayed for a long time that God should bring them into that dimension. Right now in the name of Jesus, and at the count of three, may that grace come upon you now. One, two, three take that grace take that grace take that grace bring them out take that grace help them please please whether you are an usher or not my goodness my goodness please help them take that grace in the name of jesus we release favor we release favor we release favor open your mouth and begin to pray as they come out open your mouth begin to decree favor in the name of jesus please bring them out Favor, Kali Katos Kebrendeketa. Favor by the supernatural hand of God. Bring them out. We are praying. Kela Porando Sadikata Brahaska de Balia. Tegebrendeka Sinamahaskala Bakata. Now, I don't know how I'm going to pray this prayer. Please. This is the prayer that will, I will plead with you to be your brother's keeper. Because I'm about to release the grace for speed. Oh yes sir, there is a real grace for speed. And when I pray that grace, the power of God will come on people and some of them will begin to run. That's why I'm saying you have to be your brother's keeper. So that we don't make this place rowdy. Lift your hands. Father in the name of jesus i want you to bring those people out there are men and women there are destinies and families that must plunge into this grace for speed god of wonders i pray that at the count of three may that mantle and that grace come upon people are you ready now one two three take that grace take that grace speed please help them Help them speed, speed to your life, speed to your destiny. Help this man, please. Hallelujah. That every planting that is not of the Lord over the life and the family of anyone, it must give way now. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus. I stand by the God of heaven and I decree and declare right now at the count of three I want you to shout that name Jesus and as you shout that name loud inside and outside online every force of darkness capacitor tying anyone's destiny down that has found that you will not rise is about to let you go now are you ready now one two three shout Jesus Right now I command those powers. Be God right now. Release their destinies now. Bring them out please. Release their destinies right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
I set on fire every altar that is not of God. Yokes of darkness, I declare be released now. Please bring them out. Be released now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be released right now. I'm seeing a, a, there is a grace that is coming on women. I'm seeing chains. People who have been bound. I stretch my hands. I'm seeing the number 13. I don't know where you are, but right now I stretch my hands. Kepakosh Kemanakata. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, may that fire come upon you. Please bring them out. One, two, three. Take that fire right now. Take that fire, every altar of darkness, tying your destiny, it must let you go now. It must let you go now. Hold mama carefully, bring her out. Now listen, you are standing, you are standing for families. There are some of you, listen to me you are not just please don't come out at random those under the anointing just bring those under the anointing in the name of jesus christ there are families here that are under all kinds of yokes my goodness i'm telling you i'm just seeing like 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 light just coming on people i'm stretching my hands right now please help me help this guy let him know what to do huh in the name of jesus christ at the count of three there is such massive deliverance going on right now. One, two, three. Take that grace right now. The chains that have held you down. There are people who cannot move forward. You've been in Abuja for years and it looks like there are forces holding you down. I declare be released now. Be released now. Be released now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, bring them out. Be released now. In the name of Jesus. It's time for your life to change. I stretch my hands right now. Change in the name of Jesus Christ. By the spirit of grace. Bring them out. Fire is burning in this place. In the name of Jesus. Fire is burning in this place. I set every altar. Please connect. Please connect. Be serious. I set every altar. All of you who are in front here. The spirits that oppress you. At the count of three. Go, 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 go. Out of their lives. Out of their destinies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the mantle for the prophetic. I'm seeing the number 14. Please just give me strings. It's going to come on 14 people. I'm seeing some of you have prayed. Some of you have fasted. You have seen it in dreams and visions. The prophetic is real. I know that there are abuses and the rest. But please don't confuse that. There are people who can step into this grace. I want to stretch my hands. Father, I do not know where they are across the length and the breadth of this auditorium. But there are people you have preordained to be in this meeting that must drink of this wine my god i'm seeing an eagle there it goes in the name of jesus at the count of three may that grace and that mantle fall like a tornado upon your life are you ready one two three take that grace help them help them help that gentleman i activate that prophetic the eyes that see, the ears that hear, help this pastor, my goodness, in the name of Jesus, step into levels of fire, in the name of Jesus, step into levels of fire, bring them out, drink of that prophetic well, spring of all wells, in the name of Jesus, hear me, in this season Deborah's are rising there are women of power women of grace i'm about to release that grace where are Deborah? share the word of the lord i bring a clarion call by the spirit at the count of three may that man to locate you right now one two three take that grace fire upon your life fire 
upon your ministry fire upon the borders fire upon the borders fire take that grace two of you this this pastor take that grace take that grace you and your wife take that grace in the name of jesus Selas kali bari hato sena, emprekete katos kene malahasa, shayendes kame ne katos kabra, atelas kabane katos gengera, shabrende dos kembari katos. The spirit of the Lord is saying, I'm revealing my glory in a new dimension. Your eyes will see it. I'm revealing my glory in a new dimension. Your eyes will see it. I'm still. I don't know why God is still saying to speak over women. There are people you are returning back to the realm of prophetic dreams where you will see things before they happen i stretch my hands take that grace right now 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 Hallelujah. Madam, this woman with green, yes, lift your hands. Is, are you husband and wife, sir? Lift your hands, both of you. I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on both of you. I'm stretching my hands. Take that grace, both of you. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God, drink of this grace. Step into new dimensions in the spirit. Help them. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. By the spirit of the living God. Now hear me. Every door that has refused to open. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you now. For as long as it is a door standing before you, and it has refused to open, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood, and in the name of Jesus, I speak to that door. Ephata, be open, hidden, Tita. Ephata, be open, hidden, Tita. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Declare that door opens. The door of my influence. The door of grace. Are you praying? Open your mouth and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I decree and declare grace upon your prayer life. In the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened it says being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them I pray that spiritual ignorance dries up from your life in the name of Jesus I declare Colossians 1 verse 9 upon your life that you'll be filled with the knowledge of his will you'll be filled with all wisdom and you'll be filled with spiritual understanding in the name of Jesus Christ The Bible says, and I will restore the years. Everything you have lost in time. Please believe this one. I stand again in agreement. And we declare over you and over the nations. In the name of Jesus, the grace that brings restoration. Drink of that grace. Drink of that grace. Supernatural restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for every man, woman of God here present and those connecting online that you desire in your life, you desire in your ministry. I stand in faith and I declare that grace comes upon you now. That grace comes upon you now. That grace begins to speak over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. All those in politics and government, I decree and declare by the Spirit of God, we separate you and we declare step into new levels of achievement. 
in the name of Jesus I speak over captains of industry hear the word of the Lord I decree and declare that in this season where many are saying there is a casting down for you hear your prophecy let there be a rising up in the name of Jesus it was James in chapter 2 and verse 26 who declared that for a spirit without a body without a spirit is dead your business is only a body there is a spirit that must give it life I declare the spirit that powers the bodies the vessels the projects the businesses that excel in the name of Jesus Christ may that grace rest upon you can we declare over your finances there are different levels of wealth and the prophetic dimension comes as an advantage a system of advantage in this kingdom you have your products and your services that you offer and that's wonderful you have your value that you provide but much more than that there has to be a supernatural backing that pushes you forward are we together now it says there were many widows in Zarephath but to none was Elijah sent in the name of Jesus I stand again with the angels over this house and I declare over your finances in a very strange way for the Bible declares believe the Lord your God so shall you be established it says believe his prophet so shall you prosper step into strange seasons of abundance seasons of opportunity seasons of abundance in the name of Jesus if there is anyone here that the spirit of death is hovering around you hovering around your family please hear this because we are we live in seasons where someone can just say headache my head my head and just fall down and die someone shout no way in the name of Jesus I speak over your life I declare that anyone here who is being appointed unto death by reason of death passes over you in the name of Jesus Christ you will not be a victim of kidnapping you will not be a victim of accident you will not be a victim of plane crash you will not be a victim of the wickedness of men a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side we prophesy that none will harm you with your eyes will you see and behold the reward of the wicked may this be your heritage in the name of Jesus let me pray for families here psalm 112 it says blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth then he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed that wealth and riches will be in his house and yet his righteousness endures forever i declare we pray for our children may they be mighty in the name of jesus listen this spirit in africa that makes children even though grown that they have to depend on parents to still feed them in old age we stand by the grace of god every young person here who is 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 responsible and should be employed or should be engaged i declare we push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ Let me pray a prayer that God is putting in my heart. I hope you don't see it as carnal. There are people here. The grace for territory is not yet on you. You've been in this city for a long time. But it looks like you have not gotten your own place. I want to shift you by prophecy. Standing in partnership with the man of God. You should not be in this city for long in a place of good and abundance and your portion has not been given to you. And they dug a well and the Philistines covered it. They dug another one, they covered it. Then they dug the third one and they left them. They called it Rehoboth. He said, God has given me my own space. I prophesy to someone in the name that is above all names. Between now and the end of this year, have your own space. I give you your own portion in this city, in this land. In in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my name. He knows my every thought. He sees each teeth that falls. And he hears me well. Now, 
we want to round up by prophesying over our lives. This for me, you've heard me say this is the best part of the service. Because this is where everybody gets an opportunity for spiritual realities to be created in your life. Please, I want you to agree with me. Every proclamation that will come, receive it by faith. Believe it and shout a loud amen as proof that you believe it. Are we together? In the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family. It comes to end this night in the name of Jesus. Pray for your spiritual life. The kind of encounter that you have not had from January till now. Strange encounters. Revelations of heaven. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, every wall that stands before you and the next dimension, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho, I command every wall, go flat go down flat financial walls go down flat career walls go down flat in the name of Jesus and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter I compel favor from them to you I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous, not more favored, more honorable. Many people do not know what honor is. The fortitude for preference. There is an unction from God that fishes you out of the crowd, places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you, reward you, recognize that which God has invested within you. Listen to me. There are many gifted people. The eye that can bless has not seen you. There are many men of God. The eyes that can discern and lift you is not there. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for honor. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May the mantle that makes for honor, territorial honor, honor at a national level, in the name of Jesus, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor 
and favor is upon you you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers listen it's a mystery that cannot be explained you will be suspended until they appear then you come listen is a waste to fight battles without reward David said what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward I pray for you may the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing. It is still our year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning. Leave your mind and trust God. It is within his power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you before this year is over. Step into a dimension of prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared parushalata. I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Our time is gone, but I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. We're rounding up in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. The grace that will produce results of wonders in your life. May that grace rest upon you now. Prepared blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month. I release that grace upon you. These graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No. They are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning. The sound of pain and anguish by the spirit of the living God. Let it come to an end this night. has refused to walk in your life by the power of the highest I compel it to begin to walk now men you do not know may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the presence of God, the weightiness, the substance of his presence that must rest upon you, especially if you are in ministry, by the power of the Holy Ghost, be a career of divine presence. In the name of Jesus, everyone here trusting God for a job, before this year runs out, may God give you a miracle job. Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough. We call upon the God of the heavens. In the name of Jesus, let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace. Hear me. Whoever ignores you will pay for it. 
Hear me. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. Let me say it again. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. I pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you I pray for every man and every woman of God here the errands and the horse that will hold your hands loyal men indeed may God give them to you here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod I declare by the spirit of God a restoration happens now thou shall not be afraid of the snare of the fowler nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side it says none shall hurt you but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked i pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler may you escape from every evil may you escape from every trap in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over your life go from glory to glory the remaining weeks of this year I'm speaking to you may they be weeks of strange wonders and finally let me speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of Jesus by fire let it be restored tonight may the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life May you be a wonder first to yourself and then may you be a wonder to everyone around you. In the name of Jesus. Finally, anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death to see to it that you will not finish this year well. To see to it that it will not be well with you and your family. I want to speak and set you free. There is a cause of hardship. Many people are victims of this cause. Hardship has nothing to do with poverty. Listen carefully. Many people here, you are standing representing your families as I pray. And right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I stretch my hands right now. I command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder. Help them pray. Be taken from off your shoulders. Be taken from off your shoulders. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I command that cause of hardship. Be taken from off your shoulders. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, I declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life. Step into it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke of disfavor, bad luck that looms around the life of men and women here so that you never rise is like a veil on your face and anyone who sees you walks against you. I command that veil be taken off right now. Be taken off right now. Be taken off right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Cain said, my punishment is too great. He said, I have become a fugitive and a vagabond. He said, all who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. All who see me 
will slay me whether they are strangers something upon me makes all who see me to slay me any mark any mark upon your life upon your business upon your ministry that keeps attracting walls keeps attracting scandals keep attracting negativism right now in the name of Jesus that mark be blotted forever be blotted forever be blotted forever any strange sickness in your body through your blood that came from ancestry genotypes ss shakatosia as there's no such reality in the realm of the spirit that provision does not exist is a manipulation from the second heavens altering the genetics of men but right now in the name of jesus every blood related issue passed to you by covenant i blot it out of your body right now i blot it out right now in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. The classic sign of curses and yokes is the presence of patterns. You usually are not the first to experience that. But I want to prophesy right now. I don't know what patterns you have seen around your life, you have seen around your finances, you have seen around your work with God, you are up today, down tomorrow, you are serious today, on serious tomorrow, you love the Lord today, you love something else tomorrow, your ministry rises today, crashes tomorrow, your finances is up today and is blown like the wind. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says every house is built by some man, but God is the builder. Therefore, I decree and declare that any pattern, any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the Christ, in the name that is above all names, I command a tearing down and a rebuilding now. 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 I announce to the realm of the spirit whatever should have happened to your life by now for good but because of the presence of these embargoes there are dimensions you should have entered in Christ there are levels of growth levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access that you should have been a custodian of by grace and for whatever reason certain objections have risen in the realm of the spirit to stop you in the name of Jesus Christ I provoke restoration right now 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 I pray over your life and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and the Bible says Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Jezreel I want to speak speed in your life I don't know what tied you down by now according to the program of God for you you should have entered certain levels you should have been the mother of four children now but you are yet to have one therefore I command speed step into it right now now, in the name of Jesus, I command speed, speed of accomplishment, speed of accomplishment, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. For there is an unction that can come on a man. There is an anointing that can produce. 
produce an outcome that is not available in the earth. There is an anointing that is called the breaker anointing. The yoke destroying. There is such a provision in the kingdom to not only be set free but to be a possessor of a spiritual substance that is capable of causing everyone within the influence of your grace to come under the influence of the liberty that you possess. It's an anointing. There is a provision in the dealings of God with men where men can carry atmospheres that have prophetic implication to all those who come within the circumference of that atmosphere you will not have the time to pray for everybody but you can carry a climate i want to release a grace and unction upon your life that you will go back home you will go back to regions you will go back to places you will enter your room there are physical territories that are caused but like mara the water you will pick it and in the name of jesus you will change that situation like the listen 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 the bible says that the prophets were eating and they said there is death in this food and he said bring me flour and he put it and said go ahead and eat there is an ability there is an unction that can fetch all the plants of darkness in the name of jesus wherever you are like a mantle may that anointing come upon your life right now soto sota leke to a breaker anointing the grace and the unction carry the fire Carry the grace, carry the unction, command deliverance, make environments cost free in the name of Jesus. May your presence, your presence in your home, your presence in your office, your presence in your ministry, sustain an ability to nullify ordinances, nullify yokes and causes and enchantment. Surely they shall gather, but because your gathering is not of God, there is a substance you possess that will disengage everything that is of God. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. I declare that from now, step into a season of joy and laughter. Step into a season of joy and laughter. It says you have turned my mourning into dancing my sorrow to joy. I, I, I call to end the days of sorrow. I call to end the days of mourning. I appoint unto you a new season of laughter. In the name of Jesus, whatever represents stagnation in your life that will not let you move forward, I break you from whatever is stopping your advancement. I break you from whatever is stopping your advancement. And in the name of Jesus, go forward. In the name of Jesus, go forward. In your career, go forward. In ministry, go forward. In business, go forward. In your academics, go forward. Hallelujah. I prayed over a church yesterday where I ministered the grace for visibility. The Bible says you are a city that is set on a hill. You see, one of the ways that God brings honor to you is to give you visibility. Visibility means he gives you an exalted platform where your gift, your grace, and your value can be discerned, can be engaged, and can be rewarded. We all need this in our lives. There are many gifted people without a platform that gives them visibility. When it was time for Jesus to enter into Jerusalem, he didn't say, well, I'm king of kings. He said, bring a donkey. I need something that elevates me. So that in that exalted position, I can have a triumphant entry. A triumphant entry cannot happen when your feet is still on the ground. It needs to be exalted. I prophesy to someone, in the name of Jesus, in this season, the supernatural platform that God would have to give 
your ministry, your business to give you multiplied visibility. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Some of you here are in ministry and you love the Lord with all your heart. But the truth is that the current level of grace you carry, you have the work that now is before you, you will need a higher level of grace. The level of grace that you now have, you will not be able to do much. Our possibilities are governed, among many other factors, by the quality and the dimension of grace that is upon us. So grace and peace is multiplied. I pray for you. Everyone here who is in the work of the ministry and you are experiencing limitation, maybe there's no church growth, maybe resources, there are no destiny helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ, step into a new season of impact. I place a grace upon you. Step into a new season of impact. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for our families? We are advocates of the corporate prosperity of both individuals and families. Because you see, if you rise and you are experiencing God alone, you are still not free. The anointing is coming on this lady, you. Bringing to end everything that is not of the Christ. Listen, do you know, let me tell you what is happening in the realm of the spirit. For every word that I utter, you are just saying amen. But you see this is what happens. Every word, the sound you see, enters your ears and stops there. But the anointing that is on the sound rests on your head and begins to make your life. Are you seeing that now? It makes your life to respond in a way and manner that must make that prophetic word come to pass. So don't just shout amen like you do to a preacher. What is happening is that there are layers and layers of spiritual things on your head. Layers. So when you leave, you are living with layers of possibilities and you find out that things begin to shift in your life. This gentleman, I don't know who you are. Come. Your life is about to change. Stand up. Where are you coming from? From Taraba. God will use you greatly. Take that fire. Take that fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same. Pick him up. In the name of Jesus, serve God with sincerity. Serve God with integrity. Bring him closer. There is something he's receiving. I impart upon you the grace for signs and wonders, multiplied influence, visibility. In the name of Jesus Christ, go and do exploits for the kingdom. This lady, come. Run, come. Receive that grace. It will turn you into a sign and a wonder. I ignite that prophetic fire within your spirit. Receive of that grace. You will never be the same. Never be the same. Signs and wonders. And uncommon ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Nobody like you Lord. Nobody like you Lord. Oh. that has refused to shift over your life and your destiny in the name of Jesus I decree and declare over you that mountain be taken from off you right now that mountain be taken from off you right now 
Let me pray over your finances. Do you know why? Because there is something lack of resources can do to your focus and your concentration. Are we together now? It's a cost to spend your life looking for money. There are things you will not be able to do for the kingdom. I know some of you are trusting God for jobs. I know some of you are trusting God for all kinds of liftings. But hear me. Hear me. God put the apostolic and the prophetic. The realm of the spirit is an advantage to your pursuit. So that there are occurrences that happen at the instance of intellect. There are occurrences that happen at the instance of time. There are occurrences that happen at the instance of your value. But there are occurrences that happen at the instance of the prophetic. In the name of Jesus. I declare God who has helped me God who has helped this ministry I cry unto God who is called Ebenezer receive supernatural financial favor supernatural financial favor I open up doors for you in the spirit I open up doors for you doors of opportunity doors of favor may God connect you to people connect you to platforms connect you to opportunities for your lifting in the name of Jesus Christ hear me I truly speak over your life by the spirit of grace between now and the end of I elevate you to a higher dimension financially Hallelujah. Let me pray for your spiritual life. You see, listen, hold on. No matter what you do right, if your spiritual life goes wrong, your life is wrong. Did you hear what I said? No matter whether you are prospering, getting jobs, having children, if your work with God goes wrong, the result is that your entire destiny is wrong. I'm about to pray for your spiritual life. Some of you love the Lord, but many things have happened around your life. Your spiritual life. Your fire may not be the way it used to be. Your hunger may not be the way it used to be. Your zeal for the house of God may not be the way it used to be. That lady near the door, the hand of God is coming on her. That's right. I want to pray for you that the fire upon your altar will not go down. Father, every spirit of lukewarmness, prayerlessness, wordlessness, I crush that spirit now. Receive fresh hunger for the things of God. Fresh hunger for the things of God. Fresh passion for spiritual things. May your prayer fire multiply now. The grace to pray, the grace to fast, the grace to intercede. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The grace to sit down and study. The grace to sit down and study. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Hear me. Every wrong association and wrong relationship that will not promote your spiritual health, I cut you away from it now. Let me pray for those trusting God for jobs. If you are here and you are trusting God for a job, my God, I pray that you will honor this word. In the name that is above all names, prophetically we shift systems and structures and we create space for you. Help them please. We shift systems and structures in the name of Jesus Christ. Every dying business here, You are losing, you are not prospering, you are discouraged. In the name of Jesus, whatever it is that you are involved with, I give it life in the name of Jesus. Let me pray for students, undergraduate, postgraduate, in the name of Jesus. The spirit 
of excellence. The grace that makes for extraordinary academic achievements. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Retentive memory. Exceptional spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural understanding. I release it upon you. Supernatural understanding. All those who are students trusting God for accommodation, trusting God for a destiny helper to help you. You don't have to go around living your life, go around meeting men, meeting women because you are trying to raise money for accommodation. I pray for you. May the mercy of God open up strange doors for you. I pray for everyone here who has a project on ground. Whether building project, whatever kind of project you are on. The hand of Zerubbabel that began that work. I decree and declare that same hand will complete it. Receive the finisher's anointing. Receive the finisher's anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of kidnapping where someone just leaves his house and all of a sudden people just come and carry them take them somewhere and now are asking for evil people asking for ransom money that if the family had they will use it to build a house or do something productive please hear the prayer one of the blessings of the prophetic is to establish the security that is in Christ it says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side but none shall harm you that with your eyes shall you see and behold even the reward of the wicked i pray for you any gang up against you and your loved ones in the afternoon in the morning in the night whether through acts of terrorism whether through the sword in the air on land in the name of Jesus it is averted forever averted forever and I declare over your life hear me I declare over your life anyone who will not let you rest in this season the Bible says the Lord of peace shall give you peace always by all means I declare may that by all means grace come upon you and judge everything that will not give you rest in the name of Jesus Christ you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change you will never be the same you've touched his grace celebrate the god of wonders mighty things are about to happen here Prophesy to yourself now. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life has changed. Hallelujah. I assure you that if it's the God of heaven, you will be surprised. I'm about to pray a very serious prayer. There are people today, as it is, there is nothing in your hand. But I give you one month from today by the God that I serve. Honestly, if God be God, you will marvel and wonder at what happens a month from now. You will stand on this altar in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to pray a prayer and I want you to bring those people out. There is a grace that God wants to reveal.
still in this meeting exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 please give it to us and then we pray exodus chapter 3 let your hearts be open please be prayerful don't be distracted help us media please read with me if you can see ready read and i will give joshua selman favor in the sight of the egyptians and the proof is that it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty i want to pray there is a grace that is coming upon people and this grace is for strange dimensions of favor god wants to shift people some of you are representing businesses and families are we together now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare help me with the symbol please please can you just teach him let him know what to do in the name of jesus right now i declare father even as you have revealed to me i'm seeing the number 28 28 people the hand of god is coming upon them you are drinking of that grace for favor some of you is in answer to the prayers of your loved ones they prayed for a long time that god should bring them into that dimension right now in the name of jesus and at the count of three may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace take that grace take that grace bring them out take that grace help them please please whether you are an usher or not my goodness my goodness please help them take that grace in the name of jesus we release favor we release favor we release favor open your mouth and begin to pray as they come out open your mouth begin to decree favor in the name of jesus please bring them out favor kali katos favor by the supernatural hand of god bring them out we're praying now i don't know how i'm going to pray this prayer please this is the prayer that will i will plead with you to be your brother's keeper because i'm about to release the grace for speed oh yes sir there is a real grace for speed and when i pray that grace the power of god will come on people and some of them will begin to run that's why i'm saying you have to be your brother's keeper so that we don't make this place rowdy lift your hands father in the name of jesus i want you to bring those people out there are men and women there are destinies and families that must plunge into this grace for speed god of wonders i pray that at the count of three may that mantle and that grace come upon people are you ready now one two three take that grace take that grace speed please help them help them speed speed to your life speed to your destiny help this man please hallelujah that every planting that is not of the lord over the life and the family of anyone it must give way now lift your hands father in the name of jesus I stand by the God of heaven and I decree and declare right now at the count of three I want you to shout that name Jesus and as you shout that name loud inside and outside online every force of darkness capacitor tying anyone's destiny down that has found that you will not rise is about to let you go now are you ready now one two three shout Jesus right now i command those powers be gone right now release your destinies now bring them out please release your destinies right now in the name of jesus christ i set on fire every altar that is not of god yokes of darkness i declare be released now please bring them out be released now by the fire of the holy ghost be released right now 
I'm seeing a, a, there is a grace that is coming on women. I'm seeing chains. People who have been bound. I stretch my hands. I'm seeing the number 13. I don't know where you are, but right now I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, may that fire come upon you. Please bring them out. One, two, three. Take that fire right now. Take that fire, every altar of darkness, tying your destiny, it must let you go now. It must let you go now. Hold mama carefully, bring her out. Now listen, you are standing, you are standing for families. There are some of you, listen to me. You are not just, please don't come out at random. Those under the anointing, just bring those under the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, there are families here that are under all kinds of yokes. My goodness. I'm telling you, I'm just seeing like, like, like light just coming on people. I'm stretching my hands right now. Please help me, help this guy let him know what to do huh in the name of jesus christ at the count of three there is such massive deliverance going on right now one two three take that grace right now the chains that have held you down there are people who cannot move forward you've been in abuja for years and it looks like there are forces holding you down i declare be released now be released now be released now by the power of the holy ghost bring them out be released now in the name of jesus it's time for your life to change i stretch my hands right now change in the name of jesus christ by the spirit of grace bring them out fire is burning in this place in the name of jesus fire is burning in this place i set every altar Please connect, please connect, be serious. I set every altar. All of you who are in front here, the spirits that oppress you at the count of three, go, 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 go. Out of their lives, out of their destinies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the mantle for the prophetic. I'm seeing the number 14. Please just give me strings. It's going to come on 14 people. I'm seeing some of you have prayed. Some of you have fasted. You have seen it in dreams and visions. The prophetic is real. I know that there are abuses and the rest. But please don't confuse that. There are people who can step into this grace. I want to stretch my hands. Father, I do not know where they are across the length and the breadth of this auditorium. But there are people you have preordained to be in this meeting that must drink of this wine my god i'm seeing an eagle there it goes in the name of jesus at the count of three may that grace and that man to fall like a tornado upon your life are you ready one two three take that grace help them help them help that gentleman i activate that prophetic the eyes that see the ears that hear help this pastor my goodness in the name of jesus step into levels of fire in the name of jesus step into levels of fire bring them out drink of that prophetic well spring up all wells in the name of jesus hear me in this season deborahs are rising there are women of power women of grace i'm about to release that grace where are deborahs hear the word of the lord i bring a clarion call by the spirit at the count of three may that man to locate you right now one two three take that grace fire upon your life fire upon your ministry fire upon the borders fire upon the borders fire take that grace two of you this this pastor take that grace take that grace you and your wife take that grace in the name of jesus Oh, 
Selas kali bari hato sena emprekete katos kene malahasa shayendes kame ne katos kabra atelas kabane katos gengera shabrende dos kembari katos. The spirit of the Lord is saying, I'm revealing my glory in a new dimension. Your eyes will see it. I'm revealing my glory in a new dimension. Your eyes will see it. I'm still. I don't know why God is still saying to speak over women. There are people you are returning back to the realm of prophetic dreams where you will see things before they happen i stretch my hands take that grace right now 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 Hallelujah. Madam, this woman with green, yes, lift your hands. Is, are you husband and wife, sir? Lift your hands, both of you. I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on both of you. I'm stretching my hands. Take that grace, both of you. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, drink of this grace. Step into new dimensions in the spirit. Help them. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. By the spirit of the living God. Now hear me Every door that has refused to open In the name of Jesus I'm praying for you now for as long as it is a door standing before you Mateus Kani Parahasia and it has refused to open I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of Jesus I speak to that door Ephata be open hither and tita Ephata be open hither and tita open your mouth and begin to pray declare that door opens the door of my influence the door of grace are you praying Open your mouth and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I decree and declare grace upon your prayer life. In the name of Jesus, Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says, Having their understanding darkened, it says, Being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. I pray that spiritual ignorance dries up from your life. In the name of Jesus, I declare Colossians 1 verse 9 upon your life that you'll be filled with the knowledge of His will, you'll be filled with all wisdom, and you'll be filled with spiritual understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says and I will restore the years everything you have lost in time please believe this one I stand again in agreement and we declare over you and over the nations in the name of Jesus the grace that brings restoration drink of that grace drink of that grace supernatural restoration in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for every man woman of God here present and those connecting online that you desire in your life you desire in your ministry I stand in faith and I declare that grace comes upon you now that grace comes upon you now that grace begins to speak over your life in the mighty name of Jesus all those in politics and government I decree and declare by the Spirit of God we separate you and we declare step into new levels of achievement in the name of Jesus I speak over captains of industry hear the word of the Lord I decree and declare that in this season where many are saying there is a casting down for you hear your prophecy let there be a rising up in the name of Jesus it was James in chapter 2 and verse 26 who declared that for a spirit without a body without a spirit is dead your business is only a body there is a spirit that must give it life I declare the spirit that powers 
the bodies the vessels the projects the businesses that excel in the name of jesus christ may that grace rest upon you can we declare over your finances there are different levels of wealth and the prophetic dimension comes as an advantage a system of advantage in this kingdom you have your products and your services that you offer and that's wonderful you have your value that you provide but much more than that there has to be a supernatural backing that pushes you forward are we together now it says there were many widows in Zarephath but to none was Elijah sent in the name of Jesus I stand again with the angels over this house and i declare over your finances in a very strange way for the bible declares believe the lord your god so shall you be established it says believe his prophet so shall you prosper step into strange seasons of abundance seasons of opportunity seasons of abundance in the name of jesus if there is anyone here that the spirit of death is hovering around you hovering around your family please hear this because we are we live in seasons where someone can just say headache my head my head and just fall down and die someone shout no way in the name of jesus i speak over your life i declare that anyone here who is being appointed unto death by reason of death passes over you in the name of jesus christ you will not be a victim of kidnapping you will not be a victim of accident you will not be a victim of plane crash you will not be a victim of the wickedness of men a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side we prophesy that none will harm you with your eyes will you see and behold the reward of the wicked may this be your heritage in the name of jesus let me pray for families here psalm 112 it says blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth then he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed that wealth and riches will be in his house and yet his righteousness endures forever i declare we pray for our children may they be mighty in the name of jesus listen this spirit in africa that makes children even though grown that they have to depend on parents to still feed them in old age we stand by the grace of god every young person here who is 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 responsible and should be employed or should be engaged i declare we push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ pray a prayer that God is putting in my heart I hope you don't see it as carnal there are people here the grace for territory is not yet on you you've been in this city for a long time but it looks like you have not gotten your own place I want to shift you by prophecy standing in partnership with the man of God you should not be in this city for long in a place of good and abundance and your portion has not been given to you and they dug a well and the Philistines covered it they dug another one they covered it then they dug the third one and they left them they called it Rehoboat he said God has given me my own space I prophesy to someone in the name that is above all names between now and the end of this year have your own space I give you your own portion in this city in this land in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I want you to pray and knock on the door of heaven your heart is already right with God I know that but I want you to agree with God and say Lord between now can you give me a reason to praise your name this year I tell you if you if you obey this instruction and pray with your heart you will be surprised what my God will do lift up your voice and pray Shapata. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Ay, 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 ay. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Do it for your glory. 
surprise my father surprise my mother surprise them I intercede for them may the angel of your presence reach them give them a miracle let that cancer be healed let that HIV be healed let that barrenness be broken let her take in having a child already in a womb hallelujah hallelujah everyone shout yourself time in the name of Jesus I decree that every force in the heavenlies programmed assigned to stop results from manifesting in my life to discourage my Christian life I challenge you by the blood of Jesus lift your voice and pray ancestral powers yokes spirits ordinances written in the heavenlies projected by witchcraft and wickedness to stop my life from glorifying God to stop results from happening in my life I challenge you I challenge you I challenge you by the blood of the eternal covenant Let's take one more prayer point. I want us to release the ministry of angels. Listen. The Bible says, are they not ministering spirits? Let me tell you, hear me. Angels are real. I see them all the time. You will be foolish to believe angels are not real. Not everybody here seated physically in Koinonia is a human being. I have seen them many times as I preach. They sit down like human beings. They are not human beings. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. See, some of you are still joking. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I am an heir of salvation. Therefore, I decree and I deploy the ministry of angels to every area of my life to war warfare until I become victorious. Lift your voice and pray. I release their ministry. to come into my destiny release favor I release angels over koinonia the angels assigned over koinonia we release you by the word of God the angels assigned over God's people we release you we release you we release you we release you in the name of Jesus bring miracles bring signs bring wonders hallelujah we're out of time but let's pray the Holy Ghost is asking me that we challenge the spirit of fear look at me listen let me tell you something about the spirit of fear. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. Listen. Fear is a dangerous spirit. It stops you from taking God seriously. When God speaks, fear exposes you to the obvious limitations. It's not that they are not there. The obstacles are there. But God's word does not explain. It creates... God will not tell you how by next week you will be holding a million in your hand. Don't be stupid and say, God, how will it happen? Who do I know? Blessed is she that believes. He said, for unto her there shall be a performance. Fear 
of death. Listen, fear of failure, fear of not having the money to feed yourself. Do you know it's fear that make people do all kinds of foolish things? You are afraid before you know it, you sell your phone because you want ten thousand in your pocket. The ten thousand finishes, you sell your trouser. People sell all kinds of things. People have converted and have left God because of fear. In the name of Jesus, I challenge the spirit of fear over my life, over my family, over my loved ones, over Koinonia. I declare in the name of Jesus, you are banished from my life forever. Lift your voice and pray. There's no fear. There's no fear. I refuse to fear. Say unto the righteous, it shall be well. Say unto the righteous, Koinonia, you pray tonight. Don't look around. Pray. Say unto the righteous, it shall be well. Say unto the righteous, it shall be well. Fear of marriage, fear of children. Terrorism. Hallelujah. Serve time in the name of Jesus. Father. Every prophecy you spoke over my life that has not happened, I want you to know that I still believe you and I agree with you. I must receive that testimony. Lift your voice and pray. I wrestle with prophecy. I agree. I agree. You said you will heal my father. I still believe. You said you will heal my mother. I still believe. You said you will prosper my business, prosper my ministry. I still believe. lift your hands I want to pray for you I'm a believer I'm a believer when you dare to believe God and understand what it takes to get the results you need I pray for you in the name that is above all names first and foremost even as you have prayed I challenge every force of witchcraft that has been released over Nigeria released over states to frustrate believers and make it look like God's word is not working I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus number two I pray for you the kind of speed that you have not seen from John. I ask the God that I serve to give you that speed in the name of Jesus. That he will perform his word hastily. Hastily. In the name of Jesus. Number three. I pray for you with all my heart. Every secret you have been looking at but you have never really understood. You look at it all the time. But you, are, you listen to the messages. Help them please. But you have not gotten it. I speak upon your spirit. May an unction. The unction that teaches men things. I'm, I'm doing an impartation upon your spirit. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. May that light shine upon your spirit. May that light, that illumination shine upon your spirit. Any man 
man on earth who is holding your answer any physical man holding your answer I put pressure upon their spirit they must answer you they must answer your parents they must answer your loved ones I pray for you every miracle we have received as a ministry this year whether it is in finances whether it is in increase whether it is in influence and impact I pray for you from the depth of my heart beginning from this night I don't care how short the time is I decree and I ask the Lord most high to reproduce that testimony in your life May he reproduce that testimony in your life. Anyone here, hold on please, who is sick in any part of your body, any nonsense the devil has planted, whether you call it fibroid, whether you call it menstrual pain, whether you say barrenness, impotency, whether you call it migraine, SS, AS, bad dreams witchcraft any kind of sickness right now as i stand here in the name that is above all names may the fire of the holy ghost surge through your body and clear that devil out of your life may the fire of the holy ghost surge through help them please may the fire of the holy ghost my god I tell you, I see fire falling on people. That's what I see in the spirit. Fire. People are getting healed. May the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through your body and clear that devil right now. May the fire of the Holy Ghost, I say it again, standing upon this grace, may the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through your body and clean your blood and cleanse your life. Anyone here called SS, AS, I command that genotype change now. Any stranger you were not born with, if you were not born with it, breast lump, fibroid, ovarian cyst, any devil sitting on your body, your body must glorify God tonight. Therefore, I curse that devil. I curse that spirit. I curse that devil. I curse that spirit. Everything that has stopped you from being productive, I prophesy to your hands. Your hands represent, they are symbolic of your productivity. When the hands of Samson were tied, he could not do anything. I pray for these hands. May God teach you the mystery of profiting in the name of Jesus. He said, I am the Lord that teacheth thy hands to profit and leadest thou in the way that thou should go. May God show you the mysteries. May he show you in the name of Jesus. Everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family. It comes to end this night in the name of Jesus. I pray for your spiritual life the kind of encounter that you have not had from january till now strange encounters revelations of heaven receive that grace in the name of jesus every wall that stands before you and the next dimension I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho I command every wall go down flat go down flat financial walls go down flat career walls go down flat in the name of Jesus and the king
king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to, the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter, I compel favor from them to you. I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus. There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous, not more faithful more honorable many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an unction from God that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which God has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you there are many men of God the eyes that can discern and lift you is not there let me pray for you there is a grace for honor therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows I pray for you in the name of Jesus may the mantle that makes for honor territorial honor honor at a national level in the name of Jesus receive Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear, then you come. Listen, it's a waste to fight battles without reward. David said, what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath? Sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward. I pray for you. May the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you. me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing. It is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning. Leave your mind and trust God. It is within his power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you before this year is over. Step into a dimension of prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared parushalata. I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the grace that will produce results of wonders in your life, may that grace rest upon you now. Prepared blessings that take you to realms 
10 years put in one month I release that grace upon you listen these graces are not some carnal show of wealth no they are time redemption systems understand what they are they seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom in the name of Jesus the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results receive that grace right now receive that grace in the name of Jesus I pray for every family represented here the sound of mourning the sound of pain and anguish by the spirit of the living God let it come to an end this night Everything that has refused to work in your life by the power of the highest, I compel it to begin to work now. Men you do not know, may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you presence of God, the weightiness, the substance of his presence that must rest upon you, especially if you are in ministry, by the power of the Holy Ghost, be a career of divine presence. In the name of Jesus, everyone here trusting God for a job, before this year runs out, may God give you a miracle job. Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough we call upon the God of the heavens in the name of Jesus let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace hear me whoever ignores you will pay for it hear me any man that fights you goes down instantly let me say it again any man that fights you goes down instantly i pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you I pray for every man and every woman of God here, the errands and the horse that will hold your hands, loyal men indeed, may God give them to you. Anyone here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod, I declare by the Spirit of God, a restoration happens now. shall not be afraid of the snare of the fowler nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side it says none shall hurt you but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked I pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler may you escape from every evil May you escape from every trap. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak over your life. Go from glory to glory. You feel speak over your prayer life, over your word study life. Whatever has stolen your joy, whatever has stolen your fire, whatever has stolen your passion, whatever has stolen your focus, in the name of Jesus, by fire, let it be restored tonight. May the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life. May you be a wonder first to yourself. And then may you be a wonder to everyone around you. In the name of Jesus. For anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death. To see to it that you will not finish this year well. To see to it that it will not be well with you and your family. 
the hands he came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household i pray for you because the bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore i speak over you it is well i declare over you all is well in the name of jesus christ hallelujah that fair lady that shared her testimony lift your hands i see an angel pouring something like fire on your head father in the name of jesus let us step into a level of extraordinary intelligence i don't know you but i release that grace upon you from today you a strange dimension of grace and intelligence in the name of jesus receive it right now by the power of the holy spirit receive it right now by the power of the holy spirit by the power of the holy spirit there is a grace for entrepreneurship creativity witty inventions in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing at least 43 people right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let it come on them oh god believe me let it come on them oh god let it come on them oh god in the name of jesus let it come on them oh god in the name of jesus let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands now. 43. I'm seeing a number 43. Strange ideas coming on your spirit now. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Receive it right now. I want to pray for those in ministry. There is always an unction for the next dimension. I don't know where you are, but you are going to begin to feel fire from your feet. Rising upwards. That's the instruction God is giving me. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I'm praying right now. Fresh fire. Fresh mantle. Let it begin to arise now. You are in ministry in this place. Begin to receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. Receive it right now. Now, those in ministry help them. Separo dosso koto baria, lekete koto so preska la baria ta. Zabra te so so preso koto. Strange fire. I see strange fire rising from the feet. Rise on top from the feet. Rise on top from the feet. Please help them. In the name of Jesus, can you carry the child so that he doesn't? In the name of Jesus, strange fire. Revival fire, supernatural unction, supernatural unction, supernatural unction, supernatural unction. Hallelujah. The Lord is ministering to me about a group of people here that he wants to bring into intimacy with him there is a dimension of intimacy it will surprise you you will start finding out that you are going alone to go and sit in a place the holy spirit wants to reintroduce himself to certain people lord where are they where are they find them find them tonight find rest in them where are these men and women where are these men and women that you want to introduce yourself to? Beyond church. Beyond church. Beyond church. Hallelujah. I'm seeing people here who will be burning for days like fire, literal physical fire that will not stop. You will go with it, you will wake up with it, it will continue. There is an energizing of the spirit that is happening to people. An energizing of the spirit happening to people. It's a fresh fire. It's a fresh fire. Hallelujah. If you came with anything that is a point of contact, whether a document, 
certificate whatever it is that is a point of contact whether you are inside or outside anything you can use I want you to lift it up so many things are happening to people in the realm of the spirit there's someone at the media stand the Lord is lifting that person to the next level I'm seeing someone in a vision down at the media stand stepping up let them enter oh God right now let them enter into that realm that dimension somebody at the media stand the Lord is it's like an initiation into a dimension into a dimension Hallelujah. Acts chapter 19 says handkerchiefs and aprons handkerchiefs and aprons I've explained to you the mystery behind these results no man can speak over your life and you just have results like that it, it doesn't happen that way I'm about to speak over your points of contact if you don't have anything you are the point of contact yourself are we together many of you will be surprised believe me believe me many of you will be surprised at the dramatic things that will happen we are talking about the holy spirit here we are not just talking about an anointed man we are talking about the holy spirit his anointing like a cloud comes to mantle certain aspects of your life and you see grace speaking for you grace speaking for you Lift it up, you can lift your hands. In the name that is above all names, I prophesy upon every point of contact you are using now. Let a a grace the power of performance that makes things to work. I release it right now upon that instrument. I release it upon your documents. I release it upon your pictures. I release it upon your certificates. I release it upon your proposals. Hear me. Whatever you are agreeing for as a point of contact, I give life to it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit a dimension of results you have never seen begin to see it now I speak to every CGPA that is down here hear my voice I speak as one sent by the Lord I command you to arise now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ there are people who are supposed to graduate but as it is now it looks like they may not graduate i change it now in the name of the lord jesus christ i decree and declare where your helpers have passed you and ignored you i put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you i put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you listen everything that used to flow in your life and stopped mysteriously I opened the door for it to continue every 
anyone here in business any kind of godly business i stretch my hands enter a level of rest now believe what i'm praying for you i bring you into a dimension of rest now every troubled family here all kinds of troubles from lack of finances to trouble to fight to quarrel in the name of jesus i introduce an anointing to that family and i command let there be peace right now 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 every troubled family let there be peace right now there are people here who need divine direction as a matter of urgency i speak to you hear his voice and hear it clear hear his voice and hear it clear hear his voice and hear it clear in the name of jesus christ in dreams and visions may his will be made known to you in the name of jesus christ i command every manifestation of the spirit of fear fear of the unknown fear of the future uncertainties around your life that is making you do foolish things i command right now fear go in the name of jesus 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 every veil of this favor that is around your life that makes things to work for others until it gets to your turn and then mysteriously when the breakthrough is almost coming you never see it i decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command that captivity to end now. I command that captivity to end now. Hear me. Everyone called jobless here. I stand in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I decree and declare, may your miracle job find you. Believe what you are hearing. May your miracle job find you. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for anyone here having any infirmity. I don't care what it is. I don't care how long. Any stranger in your body. A lady is going to shout now under the anointing. And then the power of God for healing will touch people. In the name of Jesus I command the healed now. Say amen. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Every blood disease be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. My grains be healed now. Every kind of abnormal condition in your body be healed now. Growths and lumps around the body, whether breast lumps, all kinds of lumps, I command that they disappear right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your family. In the name of Jesus. Between now and the next seven days, may you hear strange testimonies from God. Please believe me. I say it again between now and the next seven days. I stand in the name of the Lord God of heaven and I command in the next seven days unusual testimonies, unusual testimonies, unusual testimonies, unusual testimonies, unusual testimonies. Unusual testimonies. 
It doesn't take time. It takes his anointing. Everything that your hands have done and it did not work. I stretch my hands to yours and I command from today become a proof producer. I command today become a result producer. Become a result producer. Become a proof producer. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Every pending issue over your life. Every pending issue. Any kind of pending issue. Right now. Issues that have been hanging in the realm of the spirit. And will not be resolved. I decree and declare. Let an end come to those issues now. Let an end come to those issues now. Let an end come to those issues now. Every family here that has experienced delay as a family, not an individual alone, shake it us here. There is unction upon me. The hand of God is upon me. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. The Lord is asking me to push families forward. I push you forward now. By the mystery of prophecy, I push you forward now. I push you forward now. Tell me. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever must show up in your life and lift you and lift your mother and lift your father and wipe your tears in the name of Jesus I stand by the God of heaven whose I am and I decree and declare that between now and the next two weeks strange encounters strange encounters strange encounters with the gift of men strange encounters Strange encounters, mysterious coincidences that will lead to your breakthrough. Everything that has died in your hands and in your life, hear the word of the Lord. I command it to come back to life now. I want to pray. Please drop your hands. Just the brothers lift your hands. I want to release upon you grace for establishment. Listen. If you are wise, you will pay attention to what I'm saying. There is a grace that establishes men. Are we together now? Establishment is where you gain stability in life. Financially. Are we together? Relationally. Spiritually. Purposefully. There are many men, many church brothers. The reason why many people are not in relationships, the reason why many people cannot move forward in their life is because the devil has taken this aspect out of their lives. So you find a godly brother, but you are 35 years, you are still begging for money, you are still living in your parents' house. It's a cause. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus, I pray for every brother here. The grace and the unction that turns weak men into great men. The grace and the unction that establishes men financially, ministerially, career-wise, and in purpose at the count of three. In the name of Jesus Christ, whose I am and whom I serve, I decree and declare, may that grace come upon you now. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Upon you. I command that grace. There is a gentleman outside. That grace is coming upon him in a mighty way. Take that grace right now. Brothers, receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Listen. It is this grace that brings speed of establishment in your life. Help us come to support you to gain your footing in life. It's not just by growing old. There is a grace. You don't have to pay for everything by yourself. There is a grace that sends helpers to your life, to your ministry. Establishment is a mystery in the spirit. You can have a thing, but when you are established, you are, you are well stabilized enough to now begin to be a blessing to others. There are many people who are experiencing finances here, but they are not established. You are established means you can bless others without being affected. Established in wisdom. Your mind is developed so that you no longer act like a child. The Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is ministering to me that he wants to take away barrenness. 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 It doesn't just mean physical barrenness alone. Unproductivity is a cause. Is the cause of hardship. The classic sign that a man is carrying that demonic thing is barrenness. In the name of Jesus, I command your desert to become a fruitful vine. In the name of Jesus, I command your fruitful vine to become a forest. I say it again in the name of Jesus, I command your desert to be a fruitful vine. I command your desert to be a fruitful vine. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In one minute, I want you to ask the Lord for any one thing. I'm releasing my faith with you. Just one thing. Lift your voice and pray. I'm releasing my faith with you. Please pray. One minute. Ask the Lord and watch it happen. I release my faith with you. In the name of Jesus. I release my faith with you. Ask the Lord. Don't say it is impossible. We are talking about the God of heaven here. We are talking about the spirit of the living God. What you see is the ministry of the spirit. The ministry of the spirit. Ask what you will. And it will be granted unto you by the spirit of God. Are you praying? Just one thing. Change my life. Just one thing. Give me laughter. Just one thing. Answer my marriage. Just one thing. Give me a child. Just one thing. Settle me financially. Just one thing. Multiply your grace on my life. Hallelujah. Whatever it is that you have asked the Lord, I release my faith with you and I call it your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release my faith with you and I call it your testimony. Listen, the Bible says, and whatsoever Adam called it, that was the name there. If it is called a testimony, then it becomes a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, no matter how impossible it is, may the God of all flesh, the God of Jeshurun, that rides upon the wings of the wind, I pray that he will step into your life and give you dramatic testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will literally start feeling the presence of the Holy Spirit like a presence walking, literally, literally. I mean what I'm saying, literally walking like someone walking. You enter a room, some of you you will feel it as wind, some of you you will see that shadow, a similitude of his presence. You will begin to have encounters, not demonic encounters, encounters with his presence. You will be sleeping, hear me, you will be sleeping and you will feel a physical touch a man will wake you you will be alone in the room yet you will hear a voice clear a real voice you will know that this is the spirit of God leading you in the name of Jesus I activate that dimension 
begin to walk in the impulses of the spirit the voice of the spirit the thoughts of the spirit the feelings of the spirit i program your spirit man to understand the impulses of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ yes he will come to you he will come to you he will open your bible when you are sleeping you will wake up and see your bible open he will write notes and leave his physical notes on papers you will see it happen you will pray and he will come to your room like benihin it will be good morning holy spirit you will have similitudes of encounters with him you will sleep in the night and your whole night will be full of visions 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 encounters visions encounters visions hear me by this new dimension of encounter i command that you become untouchable untouchable by witches and wizards untouchable by accidents untouchable by bomb blast untouchable by arm robbers in the name of jesus i pray right now for everyone who is in ministry and has not been producing the kind of results that the bible says should follow or those who have the genuine call of god upon their lives please i want you to bring those under the anointing as i pray this prayer right now in the name of jesus at the count of three i stretch my hands may fire from heaven rest upon individuals let there be an ignition from the realm of the spirit young and old inside and outside i count three one two three take that fire now take that fire now please bring them out very quickly take that fire now in the name of jesus any church that is not growing any man of god who is struggling in ministry i bring you the power of the holy ghost here at this miracle service in the name of jesus christ intercessory groups all kinds of platforms that don't seem to be working in the name of jesus some of you your ministries to your families there are altars that god is raising you to fight and tear down i decree and declare young and old may that power come upon you in the name of jesus may that power come upon you in the name of jesus may that power come upon you in the name of jesus may that power come upon you in the name of jesus ministry with evidence ministry with proof go and be a deliverer with fire go and be a deliverer it doesn't matter what yoke has sat upon your destiny and your families i decree and declare right now by the power of the holy ghost let there be that impartation of grace impartation of fire upon you impartation of power upon you prophetic ministries prophetic ministries prophetic ministries multiplied visions prophetic ministries particularly prophetic ministries whatever has beclouded your vision so that you don't see again so that you don't hear again receive fire upon your destiny fire upon your destiny the hearing ear the seeing eye the hearing ear the seeing eye in the name of jesus let there be an ignition by the power of the holy ghost the lord is speaking to me about prophetic ministries all of you who are out here i decree and declare according to the word of the lord step into the grace that has been apportioned for you in the name of jesus step into that grace step into that grace right now by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah
Now, alongside these people, there are a group of people I want to pray for. Please hear me. The Bible says, Saviors shall come out of Zion. Can I tell you, every family, every territory has men and women who have been selected. God wants to permeate families and bring deliverance. But there are individuals that God must find. Wherever they are here, if you are the one anointed and ordained, that God will raise you to wipe the tears of your family. Wherever you are under the sound of my voice, at at the count of three, may God locate you. It's time for your family to arise. May God locate you. May God locate you. Young and old, saviors, arise by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Arise, arise, Kabakato Sheketekata. Arise in the name of Jesus. It has nothing to do with gender, male or female. If God has raised you, whether you are a Gideon or Deborah, may the power of God come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Halal Shalanda Kaprande Gados Kalia Ekreto Sedegate Belekatosh Kratakatosa Sigate Belekatea Koprondo Sobalushibai. All of you in front, I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, let it be a new season for you now. Let it be a new season for you now. Let it be a new season for you now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please let them go back to their seats quickly if they can. Let them go back to their seats. I want to pray a very serious prayer right now. This is a miracle service. And the prayer I'm about to pray is a major prayer. Can I tell you this? Truly, truly, Causes are real. Truly, yokes are real. Embargoes are real. Yes, the power of God is there to deliver. But it does not happen automatically. This is why you are here. I want you to pay attention. There are patterns. I will never stop praying this prayer. There are families under the sound of my voice. The same thing everybody faces in the family. If it's retrogression, it happens to everybody. If it's delay, it happens to everybody. Right now, I want to pray. At the count of three, whether you are inside or outside, I'd like you to shout that name, Jesus. And as you shout, the power of the Holy Ghost will rest marvelously upon you. There are spirits that will not let destinies go free. Great people, some of you have traveled abroad and even returned back. Nothing is changing. My Bible says, therefore, God has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. That at the mention of that name, every family here, having any charm or any cause, or any ordinance any fraternity with darkness at the count of three may the fire of the holy ghost land upon that family are you ready to shout at the count of three one two three shout jesus right now yokes causes i break causes generational causes patterns of darkness be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. Bring them out. Be destroyed now. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit that will not let you go, I decree and declare, be delivered now. In the matchless name of Jesus. Please bring them out quickly. Help the ushers, whether you are an usher or not, please help them. Hallelujah. We are still praying. We are still praying. The Lord is delivering many, many, many people right now. Every altar that is sitting on anybody's life, yokes that will not let you go. Some of you have dreams. You go to bed in the night and hear this oppression comes. Right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, may that fire locate you wherever you are. 
Halakata Bareketesh, Katabrakata Katabakatos, Embrekatos Kotopako Shoto Prerikata. Hallelujah. Please pay attention. There is a marvelous work that God is doing here. Mana Shalas Koban de Bredi Galekusia, Ekro Sadibalas Kadibalandosia. There are some of you, your oppressions have come in dreams. You go to bed in the night and all kinds of dreams. Going back to secondary schools, writing exams that don't finish, eating all kinds of things, fraternizing with dead spirits. Right now at the count of three, Makatos Kata, anyone's destiny under the siege of dreams, I declare at the count of three, shout Jesus again. One, two, three. Let there be deliverance right now. Let there be deliverance right now. Let there be deliverance right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Be broken by the blood of the Lamb. Be broken by the blood of the Lamb. Be broken by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name, Mabel. Mabel like m-a-b-e-l is there someone like that we have to hurry up because i want to pray for the sick i'm hearing a name mabel mabel you are wearing something like her tie it's like lime or it's i don't know what color it is is there someone like that mabel what's your name where are you from Is the mic working? Hallelujah. What's your name? Mabel. Huh? Mabel. You are Mabel. You are Mabel too. Who is from Cross River? I want to pray for you. Where are you from? Pastor. Where in Cross River? Okay. I want to pray for you because I'm looking at you and I'm seeing fire and the Lord wants to bring deliverance to your family. You believe that? I want to pray for you. There's an elderly woman now. I'm seeing the power of God come on that elderly woman. You are not young. I'm seeing the power of God come on you. The Lord is bringing salvation to your family. Your prayer has been your children in the name of Jesus. I don't know who that person is, but right now, I'm seeing power from heaven. Please bring the person here. Malas my sister let me pray for you very quickly in the name of jesus christ i decree over your life and over your family everything that has a connection to ancestry by the power of the holy spirit let it be gone right now let it be gone right now it will not follow you to your marriage in the name of jesus christ let it be gone right now in the name of jesus and to you please just help them make sure they don't injure themselves to you the other lady mabel i stretch my hands in jesus name let there be a supernatural visitation for your family in the name of jesus i decree and declare that everything that is not the planting of the lord let it give way right now in the name of jesus let it give way right now in the name of jesus let it give way right now bring for me the person who shouts now in this main auditorium loud under the power of god i just heard that sound in my spirit a loud shout this lady there's a lady that that lady placing her hand on her neck please tap her for me lift your hands i'm seeing fire coming on you and the lord is saying he's removing everything that stands as a barrier i don't know what it is but right now let that fire come upon you in the name of jesus christ that barrier is over now in the name of jesus christ that embargo is lifted now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah is there someone with the name jumai 
I'm hearing a name Jumai. Jumai, this is what I'm hearing. Please, if that is not your name, please don't come out. Please, let's everybody will be touched. Let's hurry up because I want Jumai. Who is that? Is there someone with such a name? Jumai, this is what I'm hearing. That that's a northern, most likely. Please verify, make sure that you. Oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah, Yahweh. Hallelujah. The power of God is coming on a businessman now. I've seen that everything has failed this year. You are into real estate or so this is what i'm real estate or something that has to do with land and construction but i'm seeing the power of god rest upon you now and the lord is saying he's rewriting your story he's rewriting your story i don't know where that person is but may the power of the holy spirit touch you right now wherever you are in the name of jesus christ wherever please help him wherever you are in the name of jesus let this be the beginning of a new season this man come you this man please come god is about to change your life come what do you do what do you do i'm into real estate you are into real estate stand here god is about to change your life my friend you believe in miracles believe oh please believe in the name of jesus i stretch my hands oh there is something called a prophetic advantage and in the name of jesus by the privilege of god's grace i stretch my hands and i declare may the power of the holy spirit shift you to a new season shift you to a new season every limitation connected to what you do god who located you and i'm using him as a point of contact if there is anyone here that has been grounded in business that the only thing you see is shame and reproach may that embargo be broken now let it be broken now hallelujah why are they here okay i'm going to pray for you why is he here sir who brought him out here your name is jumai or oh, you just came out on your own it's okay i'll pray with you no problem it's all ah sir look at me don't be ashamed look at me shout jesus as loud as you can jesus let it be over now keep him there in the name of jesus every oppression and every yoke over your life now i'm seeing something that looks like i'm seeing a serpent all around this man i declare right now the power of god is coming on one of you right now i just saw like light Cabrande. christ god is visiting an ancient altar this is what i'm seeing let it be broken right now now the name of jesus christ let it be broken by the power of the holy spirit i truly believe in the power of prophecy every financial door i just sense in my heart to pray if you don't believe it don't worry wait for what you believe that i'm talking about then you receive but i pray right now every financial door that has been closed over everyone here in the name of jesus causing all kinds of constraints and inconveniences in the name of jesus let that door be open now financial doors be open now financial doors be open now for individuals for institutions for families financial doors be open now so that you will have supplies that will give you the opportunity to focus on your work with god and your destiny again i pray that those doors be open now hear me anyone here who is in any kind of debt personal debt corporate debt 
in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, by the power that raised Christ up from the dead, come out of that situation now. Everyone who has promised to help you and has forgotten about you, in the name of Jesus right now, here at this miracle service, I decree and declare, let the book of remembrance be open concerning you. Let the book of remembrance be open concerning you. Hallelujah. There is a garment of favor that an individual can wear. And you can wear and move and everything around you will attest to the fact that you carry that garment. Every garment of shame and reproach prophetically I remove it from you right now and I decree and declare for your shame may God grant you access to the garment of favor favor in the city favor in the country favor in the morning favor in the afternoon favor in the night in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please help them I want to pray if there is any addiction that the devil is using to trap you because many people's finances go because of all kinds of addiction i decree and declare right now any addiction that is trapping your life trapping your destiny here at this miracle service the power of that addiction over your life let it be broken now 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 We believe in winning families any family here that is under siege troubles every day joblessness weakness death in the name that is above all names i speak over every family here represented step into a new season of favor I pray for your spiritual life because you see no matter what else works in your life if your prayer life your word life your passion for God and for the things of God if it goes down everything went down therefore I decree in the name of Jesus for someone's prayer life here that is yet to catch fire I release my faith with you from tonight spiritual laziness that will not allow you pray that will not allow you fast that will not allow you study scripture in the name of jesus we declare the spirit that is behind it let it live your life now i declare fresh fire over your spirit man fire for prayer fire for word study fire for fellowship in the name of jesus christ finally i pray for you we are stepping into october i want to speak over your life everything you saw at the beginning of this year that your hands has not yet handled between the remaining days now and the end of september i decree and declare you will enter october with that expectation in your hand you will enter october with that expectation in your hand in the name of jesus christ wave your hands to jesus and give him praise tonight father we honor you and we bless you let's rise up as we share the grace in fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen god bless you beloved when you come into christ activate these other forces and then you back it up with this anointing you can find rest that I, I, it, it is when the devil is looking for blood for the ember months, for December, it is minus me because there is an anointing upon my life. Listen. 
Now I know this is this is an emotional point because things have happened around you, but let God be true. Make up your mind by the Spirit of God. That all those spirits that appear to you, they won't allow you go to bed. For God's sake, you go. God gave sleep for rest. But there are as soon as you put your head up, there they come again. Coming as all kinds of things, taking you back to secondary school, taking you back to primary school. What business do you have going back there? Help that lady, please. I like your spirit to be fired up because in the next 10 minutes we are going to step into a season of prayer first first and hear me many of you as you pray in that prayer you, you are you are sending a, an alarm in the spirit enough is enough enough of living in fear what if I die what kind of life is that you can't be effective living in fear what if I die? What if I'm kidnapped? What if something happens? There has to be a system of safety. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen to me. This man talking to you is not stupid though. I have received all kinds of prophetic words for many years be careful with your life be careful with this we saw them kidnapping you we saw them doing this we saw this one planning to kill you the person talking is not stupid believe me if you don't engage this thing you will live in fear because the reality that surrounds you will be so real let God be true. Listen, in the next five to ten minutes, Please give some of my people the mic. I need these guys to pray with me. Worship team, give your mic. Let's have a few people go and, and, and pray. We are going to be praying and set this place on fire for the next 10 minutes. Are we together? Maybe let's have three or four mics. There are still more people. And we are going to pray. As you are praying in the spirit, you are opening up yourself tired of these limitations tired of living in fear tired of living by any whatever it is by the power of the word of God now go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit Are you going to put 
Jesus in the name of Jesus Psalm 79 and verse 11 I want us to confront the spirit of death Psalm 79 and verse 11 please media are you helping us it said let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee according to the greatness of thy power preserve thou those up Pointed to die. Listen, we are still praying preservation. You are going to pray for you, your children, and all who are connected to you that the fullness of your days you will fulfill. And any embargo of death hanging on you, he must give way right now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? In the name of Jesus, we curse you by the God of heaven, by the word of the Lord. Pray, pray over your children, pray over your family, pray over your loved one in the name of Jesus. Preserve from care, preserve from the soul, preserve from the hands of evil and wicked men. In the name of Jesus, 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 hallelujah. Please hear me. You are going to pray and cover everyone connected to you, mention them by name, and declare that under God and by the word of God, Satan. You have no hand over their life, whether in death, whether in tragedy, they are preserved. Lift your voice and pray. Mention them by name. He said, as for me and my house. Call your mother, call your father, call your siblings, call your spouse, call your children by name, declare over their life, prophesy preservation. Oh, 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Don't be tired while praying. Hallelujah. You are going to declare that if there is any mark upon my life and destiny attracting tragedy to my life, that was what came upon Cain. And Cain cried. He said, by reason of this mark, anybody who sees me will harm me. You are going to lift up your voice and pray that if there be any strange mark that came by ancestry, that came by bloodline upon my head and my destiny, attracting tragedy in the name of Jesus, it is erased by the blood of the Lamb. Go ahead and pray. It is erased by the blood of the Lamb. Every marking of darkness erased by the blood of the Lamb. 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 Every mark in the name of Jesus, every mark upon my life, upon my family, upon Koinonia for tragedy, for evil, by the blood of the Lamb, it is erased in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, please don't be tired. Two more prayer points. Don't be tired at all. The Bible says the spirit is willing, even though the flesh is weak. Don't make bargain with a destiny defining moment. Now you are going to pray that every pattern, whatever you saw happen to anyone and is now gradually coming to you. Every pattern, pattern of failure, pattern of trouble, pattern of untimely death that seeks to come to me, my children, my family, I cancel it by the blood. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen. This prayer we are going to pray is going to produce profound miracles. Listen. In the lives of people. I know what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit that is making me tell you this. Some of you may not believe the prayers, but that's all right. But I want you to pray. Do you know there is an average of six to seven in every ten people that have this mysterious encounter with spirit husbands, spirit wives, strangers that come to people while they are sleeping. They come to molest you. They try to sleep with you, plant all kinds of things in your body. Listen, as I'm praying now, many of you, the, the kind of deliverance that will come. This has been responsible for the barrenness of many people. 
if many people are to be open they will tell you a job is supposed to open up for you you get to bed in the night here comes that experience again someone comes to sleep with you molest you or some kind of dehumanizing experience and you wake up with a plethora of tragedies during our discussion on deliverance next year I will teach you some of these mysteries there are imbalances to them that continue to plant fear in believers I understand but believe me within the balance of scripture I can tell you that there are orchestrations of darkness that try to latch onto men say unto God how terrible art thou in thy ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you I shared with you my own experience the person talking to you is not in ignorance I was already in ministry and yet these spirits will come mine is just to come and oppress me and because of the prophetic I would see them I would shout Jesus in the name of Jesus blood of Jesus as a man of God don't think I'm talking nonsense here I understand these things many of you because of the stigma around church you may not have the courage to open up to say look i am going through this some of you have the, you feel physically like a man or a woman coming to sleep with you and do all kind and you find out that there are repercussions spiritually we're about to pray my god i'm just in fire in this place this is what i'm saying <laughs> listen hold on just help those under the anointing because fire is falling here for sure say after me in the name of jesus in the name of jesus every spirit every spirit that is not of the christ that is not of the christ in and around my life in and around my life I decree and declare, decree and declare by, the by the mystery of the blood let there be an eternal separation, eternal separation. live my life my destiny forever my open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray an eternal separation every stranger latching onto your body every spirit coming to you using the faces of men the faces of animals creatures to molest you and oppress you by the blood eternal separation Help them, help those under the anointing. I command that spirit. You must go. Go with the sickness you brought. Go with the infirmity you brought. Go with the tragedy you brought. Out of my destiny. In the name of Jesus. 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 Hmm. I'll make the declarations, the prophetic declarations after the impartation. Please 
let just a few information now let me have your attention those who are following from wherever whatever nation if you have an anointing oil right now as we proceed into this prophetic phase of the meeting you can do well to come with your bottle of oil we'll just speak over it and you can use it if you do not have an anointing oil that's all right you can just stand by faith and just believe in case you're watching from a region where that is not possible it's not about the oil the oil is only an emblem it's about the understanding and the application of faith hallelujah psalm 89 we'll start from verse 20. please project it psalm 89. um can i have a few people just just bring this closer to me please guys come carry the table some of you carry the bottles of oil let's do it quickly just bring it closer here so that i pray you have to hold it so that it doesn't fall some of you hold it bring the table it says i have found david my servant thank you and with my holy oil have i anointed him it says with whom my hand shall be established we are reading to 29 my arm also shall strengthen him next verse please very quickly said the enemy shall not exact upon him nor the son of wickedness afflict him i will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him he said but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and in my name shall his horn be exalted i will set his hand also in the sea and his right hand in the rivers he shall cry unto me thou art my father my god and the rock of my salvation i will also make him my firstborn higher than the kings of the earth my mercy will i keep for him forevermore and my covenant shall stand fast with him his seed will i make to endure forever and his throne as the days of heaven you know what the days of heaven is trouble free trouble free i will make his reign like the days of heaven all by the anointing i will take away what the same way when satan as lucifer tried to raise his ugly head in an instant he was judged and there has not been any record of any rebellion as revealed by scripture or the ministry of the holy spirit known to us in our dispensation there is perfect order and perfect peace he said i can make a man's days like the days of heaven that means when wickedness and when any evil arises the same way lucifer was judged it is judged instantly to give you rest The Bible says, now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means. By all means. This is ordinary oil, dear people. But I can tell you, it is not ordinary when hands are laid on it. Because you see, this ministry that we have received from the Lord... It's not the ministry of men it was not an ordination of men this ministry is a call that has a throne in heaven that backs it are we together when god calls a man genuinely and sends that man there are four things that characterize a genuine call number one there must be a mandate and a message a representation of the dimension of god committed to you number two there must be divine backing god must prove that he sent you indeed who shall i tell them had sent me moses said he said as you go go with this consciousness and even tell them if the need arises i am has sent you god sends them and the bible says the lord walking with them confirming the words with signs following number three if god truly sends you god gives you resources the chiefest of resources men then material resources it is impossible to be genuinely called and walking in keeping with the patterns you were given and lack human resources the lord gave the word great was the company of them that published it 
and then number four the fourth thing god gives you to validate his call is he gives you a platform a platform is the avenue that gives you visibility so that the nations will know you are there if these four things do not happen to you as a called person go back to a retreat it doesn't mean you are not called it means there are things you need to flog out whether the call genuinely or the pattern a mandate the divine backing the resources and the platform my life has been full of encounters I minimize talking about encounters because the faith of God's people should rest upon the integrity of scripture more than the personal experiences of men and because number two our encounters are very subjective and they are largely personalized dealings except where they are consistent with the universal operation of God as revealed from scripture so when you emphasize encounters even though you may be well-meaning you can delve people away from the the integrity of scripture and they now begin to build their christian experience after the blueprint of your personal experience and that will be dangerous for those who are not called to walk in your pattern because you will now create a template that is not scriptural and force people to confirm to that mold and if they, the, the yardstick for marking their spiritual progress will have to be the degree to which their lives are a semblance to yours. That is unscriptural. No one is given the unique privilege of setting up a pattern. We receive it as given by God. And even though we have our personal work, we exalt the patterns of scripture above any other personalized dealing so that we can go out of the zone of imbalance and all kinds of superstition if i have a revelation by vision and the lord asks me to dip my hands in this anointing oil and i do it and i make it look like that is the only way god administers the anointing because you love me and you believe in me you will go back to your homes and start doing it soon it will now become a doctrine you will start teaching it in bible school that if you really want oil to be anointed put your hand in it or for, i'm just giving that as an example and sooner or later you find out that people now because of the excellency of the result that comes from it you now believe that any other person who is not doing it that way is not getting it right every time i'm carrying out prophetic acts or doing these things i take the time to explain it because i'm speaking to our global family number one but number two to help the body of christ especially younger believers coming so that in learning and in looking at us and learning from us we god will use us by his grace to correct some of the mistakes that our generation of ministers made in following the fathers we follow the father sincerely but many of us did not stay with the holy ghost to be able to know what dealings were personalized dealings and what dealings were doctrinal so we just shipped everything and you see all kinds of confusion that is happening in the body of christ today many of you are here not only to listen you are here to draw inspiration and within the time that god has given us to serve his purposes i owe you by god to as much as possible provide as accurate a template as possible are we together anointing oil is completely useless on its own until it is an is anointed by a vessel that has been anointed by the holy spirit are we together number two the anointing oil is a mystery that the bible itself the bible is not silent as to the fact that the oil can be used it is one of the emblems that can be used as a transmitter of the power of god mm. so we're going to pray and here's how we're going to do it now there are so many people thousands of people here um it's going to be quite i would require and pray that will be fast ushers and all kinds of people god grant you grace in jesus name so that those who will fall under the anointing um i don't know how we're going to do with them but in the name of jesus god will grant us grace to be orderly in jesus name now here's what will happen 
aside from the maybe all all those who are in front one person those who are in front here are guests one person can just move with the oil and then that or i will even do that one myself or so so that we save them the burden of doing all of this but then there will be three people like in this auditorium now those up the balcony just remain where you are there is a system to get the oil to you because it's not going to be funny if for any reason you fall from the balcony and all of that we want to save ourselves that kind of thing and then those outside will have people stationed the overflows down to the basement and then the overflow outside and then if you came with your own oil don't worry when when i'm done i will speak over it those following like i said from your homes your offices your devices don't worry if there is nothing there just agree by faith and then you lay your hands on your head and it will still work praise the name of the lord now i want you to stretch your hands towards this oil prophetically let's agree as a family of faith father you called for this in the name that is above all names i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead that this oil even though ordinary let the anointing of the holy spirit particularly for preservation let it come upon it oh god that every head and every hand that this comes upon in the name of jesus we activate the mystery of divine supernatural preservation we activate the mystery of divine and supernatural preservation that everyone who receives this in the name of jesus i declare that you will be so preserved by the power of god for you and for your children but then in addition to preservation i am praying whatever is wrong in your life and your destiny hear me by the god of heaven as this oil comes upon your head and comes upon your hand by prophecy let it become an oil of judgment to every evil let it be an oil of vengeance to every evil that whatever has refused to let you go at the instance of this oil its end comes now in the name of jesus therefore i declare it anointed by the power of the holy spirit i declare it anointed by the power of the holy spirit 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 in the name of jesus the christ please help me in the name that is above all names so here's what will happen worship team please be prepared to lead us through sessions of worship while we are doing this please let there be law and order in the house of god i need to say this now respect all those who are functioning and just walk within the boundaries of what you are giving number two please i know that we are a crowd of people here inside and outside please make sure you pay attention to your valuables as you come in and out we cannot guarantee that it is everybody who is here that is saved i'm going to make the altar call and then when i make the altar call very quickly because remember the key number one is your salvation there are people here who are saying apostle i really desire preservation i've gone through cycles of pain please stand please stand please stand be patient and you are saying apostle right now as it is i know that i need jesus i do not want to waste my time engaging something that will not bring me profit wherever you are please let me call upon you or you are saying apostle i need restoration to my christian life we have just one minute for you so that you will join us quickly don't waste this moment wherever you are please walk to the front quickly koinonia celebrate them as they come come to jesus god bless you god bless you god bless you don't be afraid don't be ashamed this is family for you the lord is calling you come come all the overflows you can walk to your your led screens and just stand there god bless you let's celebrate them for this great courage i know many of you are coming because you are tired the bible says come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest come to jesus come to him very quickly don't stop clapping let's celebrate them let's appreciate them as they come
hallelujah thank you very much thank you very 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 much um i appreciate every one of you for coming to make this notebook decision please if you are joining them can you double up let's make it very fast thank you for coming listen let me tell you this it pays to love jesus to receive of his life and to hand over your entire life to him you never lose with jesus with jesus you are a winner in this life and even in the life hereafter lift your right hand with me ladies and gentlemen and i want you to pray this let it be from the depth of your heart if you are praying in your home praying online please join us as we pray this is a call to total surrender say after me lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe come join them i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me tonight i declare that i believe you as savior as lord and as king over my life and my destiny i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life i declare that from today i am a recipient of eternal life i am a child of god i go forward ever and backward never in jesus name amen please keep your hands lifted father thank you so much for these ones that you have brought to yourself you have brought them by your spirit to keep them to build them to lift them they have come unashamed to make this declaration and scripture declares that whoever will come to you you will in no wise cast away therefore by the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven and in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i declare right now that you are recipients of the life of god in the name of jesus i commend you to the ministry of the holy spirit and i commend you to the word i declare that you are established and you are grounded in righteousness you go forward ever and backward never everything that has come with your past your foundation that came with yesterday i separate you from it forever in the name of jesus christ i pray amen and amen thank you for making this noble decision now please look at me thank you i want you to just very quickly be careful with the cranes the the base of the cranes i want you to follow the counselors they are waving their placards in one minute they will have your details and you'll be back very quickly to join us in the impartation god bless you let's celebrate them as they go Praise the name of the Lord. Sorry, just giving a few instructions. We're going to be praying in the spirit. And um, when I put the oil, it will be distributed. We'll have a few ministers. May I please request that in doing so, let me plead with um, um, Reverend Akila and then Pastor Felix Bamerin, since they are here. Um, they'll be duly communicated how they will help us now let me just give you direction the protocol and the ushers will direct you but wherever you are once we're done you just walk to the front very quickly once you walk to the front just touch the oil your head a symbol of your glory your hands a symbol of your productivity you go back to your seat and open fire you are praying until we're done praise the name of the lord so your head your hands and then you do it by faith praise the name of the lord now various leaders and ministers have been contacted to assist us please if and when you are contacted we have to do this very fast now the oil will be gotten to you for this auditorium 
um, I've already told them, are you, are you directing them? Okay, so we have Pastor Jakes, Reverend Akila, and um, Pastor Felix Bamerin, all of the others, just spread them across the overflow. So we'll do that very, very fast. In the name of Jesus, I will need someone to come and um, help me so that I can pour. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Are you praying? Don't just watch. This that is coming upon my head, you can, you can distribute it now. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Someone please come and assist them. There are too, there are too few here. I'll prompt us as we start just a moment in the name of Jesus so we decree and declare let the ministers the leaders will they will hold they will turn and hold the oil let it be from the hands of the leaders please Victor are you directing them very quickly please just pick it take it down please you can start moving to your various stations let's do it fast now if you're going out please go out very quickly please those going outside do so now there will be someone standing at the various points with extra oil so that if and when these ones are exhausted Father, we bless you and we thank you in the name of Jesus. Let this be a release indeed for your people by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, someone, hold on. Excuse me. When you, where's, okay, yes, Pastor Jake. So what will happen, Pastor Jake, please help us. Those in front, they can just, you can just walk to them, let them have theirs, and then we'll start doing the general call now. Praise the Lord. One at least a protocol person you can take one of these jars and be sure so that when one is 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 finishing very quickly we have someone standing we have to finish this in the next 10 minutes please so that we can pray hallelujah are you ready father we give you all the praise as you come to touch it i want you to believe by faith that this will be the beginning of a new season go ahead god bless you thank you jesus Just touch it, your hand, your head, and then quickly, please. Quickly, quickly, quickly. As you touch it, you go back, you begin to pray, declaring preservation upon your life and destiny. Oh, my help has come. Oh, my help has come.
very quickly, please. Let's once you have touched the oil, please keep moving. Let's hurry up. Let's redeem time. Very quickly, very quickly. Go back and then you are praying. Go back and then you are praying. Go back and then you are praying. Just touch the oil by faith very quickly. Just help those under the anointing. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, 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 about to speak fire is falling in this place some of you you may not know what has come on your body is translating into fire believe me when i tell you this there are things in your body that must go it's time for them to go now just pray in the spirit in one minute i'm about to speak over your life everything that is not consistent with the character of christ in your life and destiny now is the time it must leave are we done let me know when we're done so that i can begin speaking hallelujah please listen these are mysteries in the kingdom for supernatural preservation now i want to pray just help those under the anointing as i pray you don't have to bring them out but i want to pray now if there's need to bring them out i'll bring them please just five minutes of prophetic declarations and we're done please pay attention now everyone here connected to anything that has to do with ancestry anything that has to do with bloodline everything that seems to have a legal hold over your life right now in the name of Jesus I decree and declare at the count of three by the fire of the Holy Ghost it will consume that devil now one two help them three be free now over you let that spirit live your destiny now hear me anyone here who is in ministry particularly and it looks like the more the ministry is extending in age the more everything is going down whether in membership whether in impact whether in visibility 
you may be following online i'm standing here under the corporate anointing with all the servants of god here and we decree and declare whatever makes ministry a frustrating adventure for you that it looks like you are called but nothing in your life shows that you are called by the power that raised christ from the dead we cause that spirit now the same applies to business the same applies to career your tomorrow i repeat should never never be worse than yesterday now hear me if there is anyone here who is struggling with any terminal disease particularly something that is already eating you up that is already plunging you towards death or anyone here having dreams and all you keep seeing are dead people dead relatives people who have died interacting with you or whatever it is the, the living and the dead have nothing in common therefore this night by this oil of preservation be separated forever be separated forever and any human agent in partnership with demonic spirits to invoke death or pain or losses or tragedy over your life and your endeavors in the name of jesus christ we decree and declare this oil upon you becomes an oil of judgment against them hallelujah if there is anyone here that you have been marked in the realm of the spirit for kidnap by any terrorist group whether in this nation or around the world i stand in the name of jesus as one sent of god i decree and declare that anybody who stands by the road to kidnap you i command the earth to fight them in the name of jesus whether in the day whether in the night every devil walking through men that will stand by the road to kidnap or oppress you may the earth fight them in the name of jesus and every manifestation of accidents whether by road whether by sea whether by air hear me if you enter that plane or that car then it will not crash please believe these are not empty words these are not empty words at all let me pray for your children whether you are there with them or not wherever your children are may this prophetic word go ahead of them and preserve them hallelujah i think he was in the I, I i don't i don't i don't watch the news so much but I, I saw something on the news or so about a young boy was it one young boy i think he's in nigeria here that was killed or i think i hope i'm right with that story i don't i really didn't follow the story but i said what sort of a thing is this i'm saying it again wherever your children are if there is anyone who could not get to you and now wants to come through your children whether biological whether adopted or spiritual in the name of jesus christ quarter to shame and disgrace may my god arise and speak for you hallelujah And everybody who has been commanded to come into your life as an answered prayer and the devil is delaying them and yet you are suffering from that delay you are suffering whether business whether relationship whether family whether prophetic connection anybody that should show up in your life and destiny to accelerate prophecy wherever they are I command divine acceleration to you The wine presser was supposed to talk to the king fast about Joseph. 
but because of his carelessness joseph spent two extra years it was the delay of the bridegroom that punished five other virgins they were all virgins but simply because the, the bridegroom chose to delay that was why their oil finished whatever will cut short your joy and your laughter in the name of jesus especially during this season i prophesy to you by the power of the holy spirit whatever will not make you laugh and rejoice let it go for your sake hallelujah this is not our last service but i just feel stirred to rebuke the spirit of fear and then we're done many people are afraid right now because of the festive season there is no money how will my children eat how will i travel can i speak to you dear family of faith have no fear i want to speak to you there is the prophetic dimension of the supplies of the kingdom if you have never had a christmas celebration or a new year celebration with joy and gladness in the name of jesus may this be one with a difference in your life may god raise men you do not know may god raise systems and structures in the name of jesus christ hallelujah here and there people can have illnesses malaria whatever it is and just take drugs and deal with it but there are people here from beginning of this year till now you have not been free from drugs because as soon as one is finishing another one is starting your leg your head your kidney this one is no longer a medical issue in the name of jesus i agree with you if there is anything in your body now that was sent to kill you that is not just a biological occurrence you think it may just be sickness but it's an arrow sent from hell to ensure that you die in the name of jesus that arrow goes back to the devil in the mighty name of jesus christ by this oil and by the word i declare you supernaturally preserved in the mighty and marvelous name of jesus christ give jesus sight of all israel and they feared him as they feared moses all the days of his life i pray for you the result you will begin to command from today by the power of the holy ghost i decree and declare in the name of jesus may your result make people to fear your god financial results spiritual results intellectual results may that grace come upon you in the name of jesus christ results in ministry results in politics results in family results in your finances in the name of jesus christ the lord will make you 10 times greater 10 times greater in the name of jesus christ daniel chapter 6 please give it to us verse 24 and the lions had mastery of them you discern what that means and break their bones in pieces or ever they came at the at the at the bottom of the den uh -huh. next verse and the king wrote to all people nations languages that dwell in all the earth a decree is about to be passed peace be multiplied unto you it says i make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom men tremble and fear before the god of daniel why for he is a living god and steadfast forever and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed and his dominion shall be even unto the end 27 this is why he is called that god Not only savior he is deliverer he can bring you and pull you out of trouble 
that people have looked at your life and your family can anything good come out of these people can anything good come out of this one that one and god says i am a deliverer i can come and snatch you from from the jaws of the lion listen i truly believe in the power of god to deliver there is a relationship between a separation between you and your obstacles and your prosperity he says i desire to come to you again even i paul once and again but satan hindered us favor desiring to come to you lifting desiring to come to you satan can hinder things hallelujah there are people here under the sound of my voice and following from across the globe the truth is that based on the gifting that god has put in your life the nation should be celebrating you you should not be at this level but there are powers that sit upon men's destinies please give me zechariah chapter 1 and verse 18 we're about to pray zechariah 1 18 please pay attention connect those outside the overflows following online zechariah 1 and verse 18 then lifted i up my eyes and saw and behold what did i see four horns a horn is a symbol of authority verse 19 he says and i said unto the angel that talked with me what be these and he answered me these are the horns that have scattered judah my praise scattered israel my covenant scattered jerusalem my peace there are horns that fight your praise there are horns that fight your promise there are horns that fight your peace but the bible says and the lord of peace himself shall give you peace always by all means next verse still on zechariah chapter 1 and verse 20 and the lord showed me four carpenters aha it's never too late for a carpenter never too late for a carpenter you can change the wood you can redesign everything he says what come this to do he's still talking about the horns and he spake saying these are the horns which have scattered judah read with me so that no man did lift up his head oh he can peg your father he is unable to rise even though he went to school even though he went to us this power sits on people's destinies for many years in my life even as a man of god demon spirits were oppressing me not many people will tell you this truth I'm not saying it to discourage you and I'm not demeaning the power of Jesus we stand today by that same power and because of my prophetic inclination I would see spirits literally enter my room I shouted Jesus in Jesus name in Jesus name nothing happened because the name is not a charm it works by understanding Did the sons of Skiva not mention the same name? Did the demons go? What did they do to the man? They even said, Jesus I know. Paul I know. I see their understanding supporting what they are doing. Where is your own understanding? There are many believers under all kinds of oppression, stagnated and not manifesting to their fullness of their destinies in Christ. Why? Because they just assume that everything is gone why then do you go to the hospital why do you visit the pharmacy for drugs even though you believe eternal life is at work in you hmm. if someone is sick now and you pray in the name of jesus and nothing seems to happen you can honorably take the person to a pharmacy to midwife his health while he's learning the laws of divine health is that true it does not mean you don't believe in divine health 
but hospital and drugs are God's systems of mercy to midwife our longevity and our health while we are learning. God himself knows that it's a process. I'm a winner man, a winner man. Yes, one my for me. Listen, let me tell you the day my deliverance came. I found a scripture and light came like an arrow from heaven and entered me. When that light entered me, I ran. I stood in front of my room then and I shouted. I pleaded with the spirits that used to oppress me. I begged them to return till tomorrow they have not returned. Listen. When we minister like this, number one, we are not being boastful. Number two, we are not negating what Christ has done. The administration of his power is our participatory role in actualizing his finished work in and to our lives. This is what the Bible calls faith. The name of the action you take based on your conviction on who God is and the integrity of his person. It is always by grace, but it is through faith. Grace is the name given to everything that is in God released to man only through the office of the Christ. That's what we call grace. Mercy is grace. Power is grace. Wisdom is grace. Grace is not unmerited favor. That's just one dimension of it. Grace is a generic name given to the storehouse that contains everything that makes God God. It's called grace. But the system of access and delivery is what we must learn. Help that person, please. Help that lady under the anointing. Believers, we must trust God to mature in doctrine so that we do not become victims. Help her. There is a mighty deliverance that is happening to her there. Because the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. So understand, there are many spirits, but this one is that spirit, the Lord. The Lord is that spirit. And where the Lord is, you know he signs that signature by giving men liberty. So that a door that has been closed for 90 years, your grandfather tried to open till he died there. Your father tried to open till he no, it. We are not going to open it, we will break it into pieces. So that your children too can pass. Do you know why Nathaniel said to Jesus, can anything good come out of Nazareth? He was not lying. There was an antecedent. There, there was a track record. There are regions where men only rise by eating from others. They never become established. No matter how educated. There are regions where it's the women that feed the men. The husband is the wife and the wife is the husband. Hard working, diligent people. How about people where doors are open for you? Just when you are seeing it to pick it. Who's seen that this man was born blind? That means there was something Jesus taught them. Immediately they saw this. A good student said, Jesus, you've taught us something. But who's seen? Was it this man or his father? He said, neither. But that the glory of the Lord be revealed. Can I tell you this? This night I want you to be angry and make up your mind. We have a few minutes tonight. We are going to trust God to have a convocation within this place. To walk from person to person and bring to end everything that will not bow to the name of the Lord. Listen. Can I tell you this? I remember many years ago. This was in Zaria. We are about to pray. A precious man of God came to meet me and as soon as he entered my room I saw a spirit behind him I was just watching and he was telling me some of the ordeals around his life and ministry sincere well-meaning godly person I kept quiet and then I told him I said sir can I pray for you I think there is an oppression ah he shot me down immediately no 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 don't talk to me about oppression I said okay I'm sorry I hope I don't offend you but if you will allow me pray for ah, I just want you to agree with me. I said, no problem. Let's do the agreement. When I held his hand, he only got up after how many minutes? The kind of deliverance that happened to him. See, it did not take one week. It's like the doors were just opening like this. Do you know that guy returned back and said, Apostle, what happened? 
upon Mount Zion. Listen. Where does the deliverance happen? Where does the deliverance happen? Go to the book of Hebrews. What is in Mount Zion? The church of the firstborn. Innumerable rock company of angels. That's why deliverance happens. Zion is the appropriate way for, place for deliverance to happen. If it does not happen upon Mount Zion, where else does it happen? There shall be deliverance and then holiness. Then the sons of Jacob shall possess. It will never enter your hand till the resistance has been cleared away. I can tell you this. Hear me. There are men of God. Do you know even over this city there are controlling powers? When God sent me to this city, I took out quality time signing that spiritual register. Shakatoske branda katoske lebahashia. Manta predisitia. Let me tell you this. Help them. I tell you the truth and forgive me if it sounds like I'm just bragging. You can be in a city, yet spiritually you are outside that city because the gate is still closed over you. You do business in that city, you will lose. You do whatever in that city, you will lose because the two leaf gates have not been parted. Are you ready to pray? I once prayed for a woman who had a school and all of a sudden mysteriously wonderful woman people started picking their children away from the school what did she do it was not that okay they got some new teachers and i called her i said madam continue your pathway of principles and excellence but let's deal with this there are spiritual things to be dealt with i prayed for that woman i anointed her the biblical pathway not some of these superstitious things that people do there is an angle to deliverance that is not consistent with doctrine it may not mean that the those who are administering it are bad they are just inaccurate as far as the administration of the power of god is concerned there is a way we administer the power of god that is consistent with doctrine she went back and fire breakthroughs everywhere someone promised to help you and lift you and like the wine presser the moment they get out of prison they forget you and their forgetfulness adds two years to your pain i don't know about you if you are all right your children are all right you are already enjoying everything pray for us but as for me and my house make up your mind that father there must be an evidence of your favor your grace but before then hear me there are families that are connected i know what i'm seeing as i'm speaking here so i want your heart to be open as we pray no distraction focus on jesus and let's deal with some of these issues hallelujah one prayer point and then i'll begin to minister by the spirit please let your heart be open and we're going to pray you're going to decree and declare that on account of the finished work of christ everything connected to ancestry connected to bloodlines foundations by the power that raised christ from the dead he must let you go now lift your voice and begin to pray are you praying Please pray. Scatterparanda kata brada gada bala gada. Blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. He nailed it to his cross. Scatterparanda kata brada gada bala gosu. Scatterparanda kata gada bala gada bala. Lenta kata bras kata brada gada bala gada bala gada bala. Lift your voice and pray. Ah. 
Are you praying? Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we declare victory. It's time for everything that is not the planting of God to be with. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Say, everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, please listen to me. But I want you to open up your heart and let the power of God bring you deliverance tonight. We are going to pray for the sick and we are going to celebrate the walking power of Jesus Christ in this place. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm ready to pray. I see a wind blowing over this place. Listen. The Lord wants to rebuke the spirit of delay. I want you to bring them out. These are the first sets of people we are going to pray over. At the count of three, I want you to shout, Jesus, Father, you have brought us here by your spirit. Please bring them out. In the name that is above all names, everyone who is under the yoke and the influence of delay, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. In the name of Jesus, that yoke and that spirit be broken. At the count of three, you will shout, Jesus, one, two, three. I command that devil out of their life now release their destinies now in the name of Jesus Christ bring them up by the power that is in the name of Jesus the spirit of delay over individuals over families I come against you now by the power of the Holy Ghost I come against you now by the power Bring them out. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing chains. Chains around the feet of people. It's held people for years. You are trying to move and it looks like something is bringing you down. Right now, fire is coming from heaven. That every chain. In the name of Jesus. Chains be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. All the overflow. Outside. Following online. Chains be broken. In the name of Jesus. We are still praying. Who is Deborah? I'm hearing the name Deborah. They call you Deborah. Deborah or Deborah, Deborah. There's someone with that name. Just very quickly, I want to speak to you. Deborah. You have a name, Deborah. Who is that person? Let me pray for you. Aya aya ve ve I 
Aquaibom. Who is from Aquaibom? Deborah. You are from Aquaibom. Come, I want to pray for you. Please don't come out at random. Don't worry, we are praying. That every planting that is not of God. Can I pray for you? The Lord is bringing deliverance. There is someone, the Lord is opening my eyes. You are holding three photos on your hand, pictures. Three. Three. One, two, three. Please come. Please come. Three photos. You are holding them on your hand. Whether you are here or any of the overflows, if you can find that person while I pray for these people. Please don't come out at random. Please. There is a lot we are going to do. In the name that is above all names, I pray for you. Please stand up. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that everything that is not a planting of God, I curse it now. Now, let it live your life. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God. Now, for all of you who have come out here, may not have the time to speak to everybody. One of you, the power of God is coming on you now with a loud shout. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. Everything that is not a planting of God may fire from heaven. Rest upon it now. Rest upon it now. Rest upon it now. Rest upon it now. In the name of Jesus, be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. In the name of Jesus, for all of you who are standing, I stretch my hands and I declare the plague of sickness, sickness, recurrent sickness, recurrent sickness. This is what I'm saying recurrent sickness. Coming again, you treat it. Coming again, you treat it. I speak and I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. I command that devil out of your life now, out of your destiny in the name of Jesus. Let there be a miracle right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. That lady. I cast that devil out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those of you who are standing, please return back to your seats rejoicing. Where is... I don't know if you've gotten the woman. I'm seeing in my vision a fair woman. You are holding three photos. Is there someone like that here? I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. Madam, stretch your hands. Lift. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus never returns to you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, let there be liberty for you. Who is James? James. James. I'm hearing a name, James. What is the name of your husband? Give her the mic. Come, stand here. I'm a winner, man. A winner, man. Where is he, my dear? He's in outside. He's outside. He's uh, outside with me. But I want to pray. A miracle is coming for your family. I'm telling you, God is about to turn things around. I pray for you. Please look at me. The month of August is a strange month of breakthrough for your family. I stretch my hands, and in the name of Jesus, I declare it so. By the power of the Holy Spirit. There are two people at the back. The power of God is coming on them with a loud shout. Please pick them and bring them out. Two people at the back. I just saw light leaving this place. Right to the back. Please bring them. My dear, I curse everything connected to witchcraft and ancestry. What do you do? Huh? I'm an entrepreneur. Are you a businessman? Yes, sir. What, yes, do, you, what do you do? I was actually doing Uber 
But I'm, I'm into rice supply right now. I want to pray for you. Will you believe if I tell you by the end of this year you'll be a multi-millionaire? Amen! You believe it? Listen. When, when we prophesy, this is not the marketing of flesh. We are kingdom driven people. And everything we do is for his glory. My brother, there is an anointing that lifts. There is a grace that blesses. Stand up, come. The Lord is asking me to pray for you. I'm not saying you should come up. Just stand here. I want to pray for you. Where is your mother? She's in the village, sir. Do you know why God is raising you? No, sir. Because your mother loves God and she has been praying. And God is going to use you as a consolation, particularly for the prayer of your mother. I stretch my hands. The grace that makes for favor. Take that grace now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, go and prosper. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, you will command favor in strange ways by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you who are out here, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare. We are still praying. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Let there be healing for you now. Healing for you now. I'm seeing a strange vision. Please bring them out now. I'm just seeing snakes all over this place. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing snakes. I stand by the God of heaven. And everything that represents an orchestration of darkness. Not just in front. Even across the congregation. I stretch my hands. Let there be liberty from any spirit that is not of God. Any fraternity with spirit brings. Please bring them out. I curse those spirits right now. I curse those spirits right now. I cost those spirits right now. I cost those tabaka tabaka books. Embrakataka poka tebras tebra. I cost those spirits right now. Hallelujah. Who is Jane? Jane. Like J A N E. I'm hearing a name Jane. We may not have all the time to speak to people one on one. Jane, is there someone like that? Who is gift? Gift. G I F T. Is there someone like that? Gift. Let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your own light. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. The Lord is showing me someone, your mother. Your mother is in the hospital right now. I'm seeing this is sickness. It's, she's been so, I don't know what it is, but I don't know if she's paralyzed. She's in the hospital, lying down in a sick bed. Who is that person? Please don't come out at random, please. My, my dear, look at me. What's your name? Huh? What's your name? Don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry. Madam, what's your name? Okay, I want to pray for you. Father, I stretch my hands over these ones. My God. I'm just seeing fire leaving my hand and just coming to rest on some of you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let there be liberty right now. Liberty right now. Liberty right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Liberty right now. I cross the walkings of darkness. This is Koinonia, the house of God. I declare liberty right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Help them please. Hallelujah. Ah. Wow. This is serious. Um, please don't be embarrassed. You don't have to come out. I'm seeing a woman. You have been pregnant. This is way past nine months. 
it's like this pregnancy is just continuous but you will not give birth who is that person this is a very strange situation god is showing me every sign of pregnancy but it's like indefinite pregnancy you understand what i'm saying is there someone like that In the name of Jesus, Kaparutla. Please pray. Hallelujah. 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 Why is she here? Why are you here? You are pregnant. There's no pregnancy there now. Pregnant. This is not spiritually preg physically pregnant. More than nine months. How many years? How many years? One year, five months. Come and stand here. How many years? One year, nine months. How many years? Keep out the mic. This one, I'm seeing one year, nine months written on her. Stand up. This is demonic. How can a human... Hold on, please, madam. It's alright. It's alright. How can a person hold pregnancy for one year, nine months? I'm a winner, man. A winner, man. He has won my battle for me. I'm a winner, man. I'm a winner, man. I'm a winner man, a winner man. My dear, hold on. Look at me, look at me. Let's save time, man. Stand up. Let me just minister to you. Please be patient this night and let God give us a visitation. You are married? This is my third pregnancy. I saw you in my dream. Hold on, madam. Don't worry. It's all right. We are, that, um, God has answered your prayer. We are going to pray, huh? look at this look at me i curse that spirit according to god's design for us there are doctors here women is it not nine months is elephants that carry children for over two years or so not human beings this is witchcraft everything you have been carrying spiritually that you should give birth to business ideas visions every power stopping your delivery i command it to clear the way now clear the way now have the clear the way now clear the way now clear the way now clear the way now clear the way now, clear the way now. As soon as Zion travails, the Bible says, she shall put forth a son. Madam, let this woman stand up. Let me pray for her. Help her. Just help her. Madam, you're married? I lost my husband for my, uh, last year. He was poisoned. And since then, I've been carrying pregnancy for the past one year, nine months. Even if I go to the hospital, it's not my first pregnancy. Look at this. You are seeing a pregnant woman. This is a pregnant and you go to the hospital they did not see anything <laughs> stretch your hands pray for this woman like you are praying for your blood <laughs> Satan take your hands from this woman in the name of jesus we command every demonic hindrance give way now you have taken all the pain you have taken all the shame you have taken all disappointments 
If this is a genuine pregnancy, then we declare according to the time of life. May you go and give birth to healthy children that you will come and stand before God's people and testify. You are her sister, or daughter. who is this? Your sister. Oh dear. Don't cry. Weep not, for the book is open. The lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed madam i stretch my hands and i pray for you now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god let there be a miracle for you right now my sister in the name of jesus christ according to the time of life go and give birth in jesus name for all of you who are out i don't know why you are out but i declare by the spirit of the living god every issue of concern it comes under judgment now. I'm hearing a name Asabe. A-S-A-B-E. It's like that's somebody's name. Is there someone like that? I want to pray. Who is that? Who has? Ha. I want to pray for you. My goodness. The Lord is bringing a miracle. We are going to pray for the sick shortly. But I'm seeing the power of God touching you. Your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands and I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, everything that is not a planting of God roaming around your body, we command an exodus of it out of your body now. In the name of Jesus. Number two, Madam, the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you the month of July. Call it your month of restoration. The Lord is restoring many things to your life. Restoring many things to your life. I declare it so. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone here. We are going to pray. But I am seeing someone. Your father is a military officer. The Lord is asking me to pray for the person right now. A military officer. I want to pray. And rebuke the spirit of death. People are following on air, no telling lies. No telling lies. We are praying for everybody. If your father, biological father, is not a military officer, please stay back. Make sure that you don't just come out at random. We are praying now. Praise the name of the Lord. You just come and stand quickly and let's pray. Please don't be tired. God is visiting people. I just saw light. There is a grace for speed. People are going to begin to run right now. Just hold them and bring them out. I release that grace for speed. Bring them out. There is a strange grace for speed that is coming on people now. Politicians, businessmen, men and women of God, take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that anointing now. Please bring them out. Strange grace for speed that is coming upon you. Some of you in the next one month, within one month, within one month, things will begin to shift in your life. We are prophesying by the Spirit. Within one month, within one month, the delay of years, within one month, speed, speed to your life. Help them please speak to your life. I'm still praying it. I'm still seeing that great rest on people. You will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen in your life. Supernatural speech. Hallelujah. There is a man of God here. Oh dear. You have been praying. Don't come out. The power of God will come on you. You have been desiring 
a strange grace for signs and wonders and the prophetic you are on this road this road the power of god will touch other people but the person i'm talking about is on this road this road at the back bring the person there is a grace for signs and wonders as is happening to one as many as desire in the name of jesus may that mantle rest upon your ministry upon your life grace is coming upon you time wonders i'm telling you you will be surprised at what god will do in your life grace you will command signs and wonders in business in ministry may the good hand of god come upon you hallelujah any military officer here that the spirit of death is looking for their family i stand by the god of heaven in the name of jesus christ anyone's father who is a military officer in the name of jesus you will not die in battle i declare supernatural preservation by the power of the holy spirit preserved by the good hand of god in the name of jesus christ preserved by the hand of god in the name of jesus christ your brother has been missing for two years not has been missing two years two years who is that that's your number one prayer request come and stand here stand up please my dear just minimize crying when you come so that we attend to you god has located you praise the name of the lord please don't cry look at me my dear your brother what's his name <laughs> benjamin how many years 35 35 uh -huh. how many years has he been missing two years how about you what's the name of your brother nandom he's been missing yes sir and my sister fejiro he has been missing for two years what's his name fejiro he's a what does he do he just graduated so what was he doing? He was just doing some jobs. All of a sudden, he just went away. I this Well, on live TV, there are some things that is wise to just keep quiet. But you see, we have to pray for our relatives. Because sometimes, this deception that people bring, let's help you get to this country. You will get a job. You understand what I'm saying? And this is what is happening to him. But in the name of Jesus, the spirit that is making him misbehave is still alive. Come back home now. Can I tell you this? There is no country that has an advantage by default. If the Lord does not go with you, every nation has a bridge and there are people living under it. So just because it's US or UK or Asia does not mean automatically. Now I know that many of them have leadership structures that easily allow people to prosper. But I'm telling you, except God holds a man's hand and helps you in this life, you can travel all you can and return back to your yesterday. My sister, where are you from? I want to pray for you. This prayer it's not just for your brother let me start with you first huh shame and reproach in the name of jesus i command it to leave you the spirit that is part of shame and reproach release her now in the name of jesus christ my friend what do you do i'm a real estate agent sir you're a real estate agent yes sir do your real estate yes sir. but start preparing for ministry hmm? Look at me. The call of God was upon your life before real estate. You know that, right? God showed you in dreams that yes, you will sir. do evangelism. Yes, You've seen sir. yourself go to your village. Yes, sir. You are from my place now. Yes, sir. Yes, Prepare. Sir. God yes, is sir. calling you. Do your real estate, but then at the same time, 
don't run away from the call of god the call of god is not a cause many of us run away because we think you will not eat so we run away as though god just calls people to rubbish their life he calls us into a life of honor are we together now my friend don't cry i pray that god will help you in your real estate but i also pray that you will answer the call and that god will equip you and you will use you mightily for all our loved ones who are missing be found in jesus name hallelujah in one minute pray for this region and pray for your region don't say it does not concern me please lift your voice and pray we administer priesthood over the earth. We declare in the name of Jesus as sons and daughters of life, kings and priests. We declare God's power has come, no further shall you go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Fast. I want you to agree. Praise the name of the Lord. How many of us are trusting the Lord to touch us or touch our loved ones? We believe in miracles. It will take 10 minutes to make this happen very quickly. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing. Jesus, we believe. Jesus, there is healing in your name. Please lay your hands right now as a prophetic point of contact. Those following on TV, you are following on any of our social media platforms outside. Connect now by faith connect now by faith every nation every territory we believe in the God that heals whilst you're submitting your prayer request very quickly please lay your hands there if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and I want to pray for you right now I truly believe in the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit I believe in miracles and signs and wonders now watch this please this is what we are going to do this will be very very fast very fast let's walk together I'm going to rebuke that devil and release the power of the Holy Spirit over you the moment I do that I want you to begin to check yourself in the name of Jesus Christ please shout a loud Amen in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every devil of infirmity, causing pain and discomfort over anyone's body here. Release them now in the name of Jesus. Release them in the name of Jesus. Right now I declare life to your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in Jesus name. Be healed in Jesus name. Blind eyes be opened now. If you're here and you're on crutches or you're on wheelchair, stand, lift that crutch and begin to walk now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed blood conditions all kinds of blood conditions be healed right now the Lord is healing peptic ulcer in the name of Jesus Christ be healed abdominal pains of all sorts be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone you don't hear very well with your left ear check it now the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, cancer, 
regardless the stage be healed right now i'm seeing at least two two three ladies you have lump on the left side of your breast in jesus name we command that devil to leave you now in the name of jesus christ there's someone the lord is healing and restoring your sense of smell supernatural restoration in the name of jesus blood condition this is like leukemia in the name of jesus i declare a miracle right now by the power of the holy spirit joint pains joint pains in the name of jesus christ i declare every pain around the joint area be healed now in jesus name there's someone you had a dream and in that dream it's like someone hit you with a hard object when you came out from that dream you've had pains all over your body till now the power of god is touching you right now following online we minister the power of the holy spirit be healed right now be healed right now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus be healed someone with a severe pain around your left your left leg the power of god is touching you right now i'm seeing a miracle happening around your left leg let there be healing in jesus name the lord is showing me a woman you woke up from a dream and physically like your hair was cut like removed a portion of it and from that time you it's been ill health after ill health the lord is healing you right now someone you're having around your your throat area here you're having severe pain and it's, it's like swelling and discomfort this has been so for a while i minister the life and the power of jesus be healed now in jesus name now anyone sick from the crown of your head migraine the lord is healing several people with migraine be healed right now in the name of jesus christ the name of jesus of jesus who is the son of the living god that these egyptians that you see today you see them no more forever you see them no more forever you see them no more forever in the name of jesus christ i declare over your life by the power that is christ from the dead where doors have closed for you in the name of Jesus as you return from this mountain step into a realm of open doors please believe believe every prophetic word step into a realm of open doors those trusting God for jobs in the name of Jesus for some of you by next week I declare by the Spirit of God you return with miracle jobs
where you have not experienced favor in your life I release my faith with you experience strange levels of favor I pray shame and dishonor let it be far from your life forever I pray for your spiritual life a fresh hunger for the things of God a fresh hunger for prayer and fasting a fresh hunger for the study of scripture in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have seen or God told you should come into your hand and has not yet manifested I declare the grace for performance the grace for manifestation the grace for performance the grace for manifestation may it come upon you right now and everything you have started and yet you've not finished may the finisher's anointing come upon you now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus it directly but your, your pace of growth is too slow what can be done in one month takes you 10 years I don't mean to insult you but there are some of you you've been building forever and it looks like the grace to finish is not there I tell you the, the fire of God will fall on many people based on this prayer I'm about to pray and you will shout that name that everything that has tied your life and destiny bringing delay you know that delays at work in your life when the only thing that grows in your life is your age nothing else grows only your age you know that there is delay there therefore i pray right now my god i sense fire even on my own hands in the name of jesus at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus as you shout that name inside and outside everyone who is a victim of that oppression that demonic structure will be liberated right now i decree and declare against the spirit of delay we come against you by the power that is in the blood of jesus at the count of three shout jesus one two three shout jesus delay be broken now help them my god delay be broken now over lives over families be broken now Hallelujah. Many years ago, I used to have demon spirits come to oppress me. And because of the prophetic, I would see these spirits enter. I would shout in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, and nothing would happen. Because the real miracle is not in the chanting of the name like a charm or a genie. Is in the revelation of it but the Lord is opening my eyes right now please look at me there are people you would have made maximum progress pay attention but you go back to bed and you are seeing yourself in secondary school you are seeing yourself in I want to prove how it came what happened almost all of them had similar dreams maybe not exactly the same but similar they go to bed and someone comes to them with a syringe like a, a real syringe in a dream and injects them and tells them this is hiv are we together and they wake up and after a few months they begin to have physical symptoms they go to the hospital and they will tell you this thing is demonic and because of their fear to not be stigmatized they will not seek help and not say anything and keep quiet until it eats them up i declare liberty i declare liberty
there is a lady I'm praying for you by the spirit because I'm seeing that there seems to be this fraternity and this spiritual union with entities that anybody who comes and is considering you whether for marriage or whatever it looks like there is this something suddenly happens the jealousy and the manifestation of this spirit will completely abort that agenda in the name of Jesus right now I'm praying bring them out kaparato sheteketia shida bagata baruski atabadakata krato sheteketia that's right mandika paruski kata e pregeto shida dabata i decree and declare whatever spirit is binding itself to you in this false spiritual union we break that relationship now we break that relationship now we break that relationship now there are whole families that are victims of this not just individuals i'm still praying i don't know why god is showing me women i know that this affects both men and women but i'm seeing women i'm still praying right now every embargo that has covered your glory and your face so that the good that should come to you does not arrive right now in the be delivered in the name of jesus be delivered in the name of jesus be delivered in the name of jesus hallelujah please look at me i want to pray a very serious prayer for you now and i want you to pay attention there is a mystery in the spirit called the book of remembrance the bible says in the book of esther that once upon a time a man who sat at the gate who was an uncle to the village girl that would later become queen over 127 provinces hadassah or esther the bible now says one time they conspired to kill the king ahasuerus and mordecai was privy to that information and he supplied that information and it preserved the life of the king but the king forgot him there are many of you here if your effort and your contribution to the life of others were to be rewarded you would never be where you are but in a strange way there seems to be a spirit that trails your progress you help the rising of many but it looks like you are forgotten i'm about to pray for you because something is coming on you listen 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 can i tell you this god does not forget but men can forget believe me when i tell you that the distance between you and your next level is one destiny helper away this is the world of men god uses men to lift god uses men to help the wine presser and the baker they were both helped by joseph and joseph made a plea and said i am in this prison but i am innocent i don't have the power to advocate my innocence please when you are reinstated use your influence to talk to the king the pharaoh for me that they should come and get me out of this place the wine presser forgot him for two years one man's forgetfulness added two years of pain to another man but the bible says that night could not the king sleep and he said bring me the chronicles and when they opened it they found there they read it before him and he said who is in the chamber there haman was there the arch enemy of the people of god he said what shall be done to a man who has done so and so i want to pray for you now when i came into this city i found out that over arguably 50 to 70 percent of the opportunities and the lifting of men in this city 
is purely by relationship even beyond competence relationships someone can stand by you and hold your hand and wipe your tears forever just because of relationship can i tell you this there are many competent people who cannot rise because the person to speak their praises to the kings is not there can i pray for you this is my assignment tonight Parato shakete barako tiyata. Many pastors have helped the rising of many and they've been forgotten. They do ministry as if they are not called. Many business people participated in the lifting of others and were long forgotten. Many of you here, you played major roles in the rising of people in this city. And as it is, no one seems to pay attention to you. I want to pray grace on your life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ the spirit that makes your helpers to forget you I decree and declare that spirit departs from your life now receive it it departs from your life now hear me this man standing before you is I am I am by the mercy of God the recipient of the remembrance of people who God used me to help and to lift at one point or the other believe me when I tell you when your helpers remember you one day can be equivalent to 10 years for you let me pray for you there are jobs here there are visions here that are the mercy of the grace of god through help us right now by the power of the prophetic for everyone who has been forgotten here leaving you in shame leaving you in pain i decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open for you now let the book of remembrance archiving your diligence archiving your honesty archiving your sincerity archiving your competence let it be open for your sake now there are people standing here right now whose documents are under the carpet in many offices i will do something about it and they sweep it under the carpet and leave it there sir have you considered uh, we will we'll do something and sweep it there in the name of jesus wherever it was swept to we bring it out to visibility we bring it out to visibility in the name of jesus christ We'll, we'll pray for the sick shortly but let me pray one more one more prayer it is possible for your helpers to come late life is a function of timing it is possible for your helper to come but then to come late the value of help is when it comes on time let me repeat it again the value of help is that it comes on time listen to me there are many people today if help came on time their loved ones will not be dead help came when they were buried and someone will say ah i didn't know the text you sent me the mail you sent me if i had seen it i would have supported i want to pray for you it's not enough to call for help help must come on time it says satisfy me early with your mercy in the name of jesus christ everywhere help has been ordained to come for you between november and the end of this year in the help them my god help them up the balcony there in the name that is above all names between november i'm saying it by prophecy 
I stand under this apostolic and prophetic grace. May your help not escape December 2021. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. May your help let it not escape December 2021. Therefore I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. I prophesy to the north and to the south. Wherever your help is, I gravitate it towards your destiny. I am the Lord that he led thee. I am the Lord your healer. I sent my word and it healed your disease. I am the Lord One more time with faith in your heart. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. That he led thee. I am the Lord. Your healer. I sent my word. And it healed your disease. Listen, the Bible says Jesus was speaking and he said, as my father has sent me, he said, even so send I you as my father sent me with the same mandate and the same backing, the same mandate and the same backing. My mission was to reveal the love of the father and to connect the world to the father so that they walk back in that dominion and they become envoys envoys advocates kings and priests now i send you but to do that you will need the equipping the backing of heaven so how god anointed jesus of nazareth when jesus came and stood up for to read luke chapter 4 says that it was given to him the scroll of Isaiah, and he found where it was written concerning him that the spirit of the lord is upon me for he hath anointed me to preach glad tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to release to preach deliverance to them who are captive and recovery of sight and to set at liberty them that are bruised and then when he was done reading he said the bible says he closed the book and kept it and sat down and he said this scripture is fulfilled in your eyes the healing ministry is one of the cardinal ministries that reveal the love of jesus why because the authorized means of remaining on the earth is that you must have a mortal body listen this is the theology of healing healing is not merely just administering the power of god to a human body it's an attempt by the spirit of god to bring you to a point of health and vitality because the spirit of man or any spirit requires a certain health condition in a human body to be able to remain when the body is broken and deteriorated beyond a certain threshold, the spirit will have to be separated from the body in an event we know and call death. Are we together now? So every time you are sick, it's like death knocking on your door. Would you give me a chance? From a slight a sickness as headache, pain, whatever it is. So when Jesus comes, to bring healing through his servants it is his commitment to preserve you in health and vitality so that you can have the body prepared for you to be able to do that which he has mandated you to do 
you're sick in your body now is the time for you to receive your healing I want you to lay your hand very quickly I truly believe in the healing ministry the last three months the Lord has been speaking to me again that some of the manifestations of the power of God that we saw with the generals our fathers of blessed memory who have joined the cloud of witnesses today most of them moved marvelously in the 60s and the 70s across Europe across the US and even in Africa here there were men and women most of them died living a prophetic word that a moment will come in the history of the church and in the future of the church where there will be a marvelous move of the spirit and young men and women will arise and there will be a restoration of that healing mantle can i tell you sincerely our generation has not really once if you are younger than respectfully speaking say 45 downwards or maybe 40 downwards that generation has not really witnessed the move of the spirit the healing ministry with power the way that most of our parents and our fathers would tell us sometimes you will hear the things that they would say and you would think they were exaggerations i've had the honor and the privilege of meeting a few people before they passed on who were marvelously used by god to change nations and my concern was not just impartation from them i wanted to ask them what were the prophetic words that you received and i can tell you this before jesus returns once again that water that pool will be stirred in a remarkable way believe me when i tell you this there's gonna be a great awakening there's gonna be a great revival in our land there's gonna be a great awakening and everyone who calls on Jesus I'm going to pray for the sick now but I want you to know know this for sure that the move of the spirit is coming and before we round up this service tonight I will pray I know that there may be one or two people here that God is already training you as part of that glorious that mighty army that will carry these end time mantles of healing for you you did not just come for a miracle service to receive you are still in the in, in, in God is still working on you be patient with him we are not just talking of healing in a service headache wheelchair thank God for that but men whose shadows like Peter will heal the sick I believe this with all my heart I believe this with all my heart that before Jesus comes believe me when I tell you there will be such a move of the spirit ordinary people men and women you have not seen them on TV yet nobody even knows them they may not be in active ministry yet no one is celebrating them the Lord is training them pruning them building them and when he's ready he will blow them like a shofar to the nations and i tell you africa and nigeria has a major prophetic role to play in taking back this healing anointing to the nations i believe this it will happen in our lifetime we will see it like natural resources we will export the power of God as a commodity to the nations. Believe me when I tell you this. Men and women will carry fire. Some of you, God will send you to Europe to go back and salvage the decadence that is going there. Some of you, God will send you back to US, Canada, send you across, even to Asia. For now, let's pray for the sick. Please lay your hand as a point of contact. I want you to believe in the power of Jesus to heal. I know he heals. I don't just believe he heals. 
I know that Jesus heals. Oh, nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Oh, nobody like you, Lord. Now, do you know, I was so humbled when I found out that many hospitals in Abuja here and many hospitals across the nations, people who are with patients connect to the miracle service like so many are doing right now. You've heard of the marvelous miracles of people in the hospital. Very humbling to see what the power of God is doing. And if you are in the hospital right now connecting with someone Whatever the situation is, I want you to believe. Lay your hands and let's pray. As I pray for you, I want you to shout a loud amen. I will rebuke that spirit and command that spirit to give way. Now, um, I don't know how we will do it because this is the last miracle service. And I have a section for impartation. So what we are going to do is um, probably we may not have people come out to share testimonies. Let's just let's just um, let's sacrifice that section of the meeting. In as much as it's good to declare the faithfulness of God, but there is a lot. We still have prayer requests here, and then I still want to take out five ten minutes and release something upon your life, a, a marvelous manifestation of the anointing. So I will just pray for you. As God touches you and blesses you, from next week you can do well to come and testify. My apologies. It's our culture to always take the testimonies and celebrate Jesus. But now that we have taken time to do this, we may just sacrifice that so that we can do the general prayer and then we do the impartation. The impartation is a major part of tonight's meeting. That's why many people traveled across nations and came here. Hallelujah. There is somebody... God is calling you into the prophetic. But it looks like you touch that realm and come back. You touch that realm and come back. Some of you even travel to come. The Lord is saying there is a mantle. There is a grace. It's a seer anointing. The grace, not just dreams. The grace for sight. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare before I pray for the sick. That grace for sight. Palato shatabakata. In the name of Jesus, may your eyes be open to see. May your eyes be open to see. I open for you the vistas of the Spirit with accuracy. In the name of Jesus Christ, take that grace right now. Hear me. Some of you is, is, a, is a spiritual inheritance. Where you come from has that as a grace. I'm saying this as a, prophetically you come from a background even a denominational background where God has given it as a spiritual inheritance I stand in faith with that ancient mantle I declare again for those called to the prophetic may your eyes be open to see just give me a minute and let this grace just just really come on people believe me there are people receiving this anointing some of you your grandfathers were prophets your fathers were prophets it's a spiritual inheritance given to you it's time for you to walk in that grace it's time for you to walk in that grace the seer's anointing the eyes that can see see beyond time see beyond science
I'm ready to pray for the sick. In the name of Jesus Christ, shout a loud amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, yes. who is that guy lifting his crutches? He couldn't walk. No, no, no. I'm not saying. Sh- Look at me, my friend. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift your crutches and walk. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Walk. Walk. Lift it up and walk. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing? Come, walk. Don't be afraid. Lift it up and walk. He touched me. He touched me. And oh, what joy. Something happened. And now. He touched me. My friend, look at me. What happened to you? I got an accident. How long ago? One year. One year ago. And it looks like it's not healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you and I declare right now, right now, healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now. I declare life to your limbs in the name of Jesus Christ life to your limbs life to your limbs I declare a supernatural reconnection of the fractured bone you came here believing my friend look at me stand up walk gently go Turn and come back. I'm about to pray for the sick now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that this miracle remains permanent in your life by the power that raised Christ from the dead. And what do you do? I have computer wisdom. You are what? A computer wizard. I'm not sure I got him. Computer wizard. No, don't. You are not a wizard. You are, you are a computer. You are computer savvy. That's all right. Choose you. In the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle for you right now. I shift you by the Spirit in Jesus' name. Now I want to pray for you. We are still praying for the sick. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Let him go. He's free. I decree and declare every spirit that is back of any infirmity and any disease. I command it to give way now. Give way now. I pray from the crown of your head, even to the soles of your feet, my God, I send such a strong anointing. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now. Peptic ulcer, be healed now. Migraine headaches, be healed now. I'm hearing a name gastritis. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. 
help that woman that's right in the name of jesus be healed now any organ that is failing or has failed in your body i prophesy to you by the power that raised christ from the dead let there be a brand new organ in your body now not just the healing of the current one a brand new organ in your body now blind eyes open now in the name of jesus someone has received a miracle there is that a miracle someone from crutch the crutches are lifted is that a miracle if that's a miracle that's fine otherwise if he's lifting it by faith he can stand there and receive something has happened there what well, we promise that we will not take out there in the name that is above all names there's someone your right ear it looks i don't know if it's blocked or you don't hear completely with it i command that ear to be open now every blood disease in the name that is above all names we declare the cleansing of your blood now you hear me please if there is anyone here with any troubling genotype i stand by the god of heaven and i declare let there be a supernatural change of your genotype believe it in the name of jesus christ any lump in or growth in any area of your body breast lump abdominal lump lumps around your body i cause that growth right now i cause that growth right now i cause that growth right now there's someone i'm seeing is like you have a problem with your fingers you are not able to move your hands freely the power of god is touching you right now wherever you are in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ someone with a severe pain around your kneecap you're having a severe pain around your kneecap the power of god is touching you right now bringing you life and bringing you healing in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ